Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ, all of you. Please invite your friends, and I hope my voice is coming good and clear. And don't forget, please, to speak a nice language. Don't use the bad words. And after we finish, feel free to download the videos and share it with your friends. Everybody is welcome to join us today. And for sure, Muslims are the first. And the topic is about false prophets. There is many verses in the Bible speaking about false prophets. And, you know, it's not really, you do not need to be a genius to discover that false prophets, all of them, they share things. They share things in common, like, you know, there's things really they share. Here, there is a list of, uh, or there's an article speaking about cult leaders. But all those cult leaders, they share one thing, which is uh, money, sex, with the, you know, taking the money of the followers and uh, having sex with their women. And they use their cult as a way to make those people subdued, to obey, because he's speaking in the name of God, you know. He is not a speaking in himself. This is what he say. I mean, that's God told me. I mean, you know. So whatever I say to you is, don't blame me for what I say. It's God. And you know, if you ask as an example, Muslims, why the prophet he don't follow his own law? As an example, Muslim, they say that Muhammad is a prophet. Okay, and he's a Muslim. All right, who is the Muslim? They will say to you, the Muslim who obey Allah. All right. Well, the Muslim who obey Allah, Allah says to you, you can have four wives. How many women Muhammad he have? They say to you, he don't have a limit. Okay. Why Allah gave a privilege to Muhammad to have unlimited number of women? What does this have to do with God? What does this have to do with being a prophet? How having unlimited number of women is a privilege? How that can be? You explain to me. I need to know why it is a privilege for the prophet. What does that mean? A prophet of God is someone he supposedly have no time even for those things. He's a prophet of God. He have a big mission to accomplish. So instead of having as many as he can, what about having as many as he, he, he should not? So why Muhammad he have all those privilege? Privilege about money. Muhammad he, Allah, he made for him a verse saying that the fifth of the booty goes to the Prophet. Why Muhammad he need the fifth of the booty? Fifth is a lot. The booty is something we stole, so Muhammad is a thief. And now Muhammad, because he don't want anyone to compete with him about what is his share, he fabricated verses in the Quran saying that the fifth of the booty is for the Prophet. Not only that, he claimed that the best of the booty, not only the fifth, Safiyul Magnam. Hmm? Why Muhammad he need the best of the booty? The biggest TV, the biggest car. Now for sure we are measuring compared to that time. That will be... Uh, You know, depend on the time. So in the time of Muhammad, the best of the women, the camels, etc. Why Muhammad always he come with the with the privilege privilege have to do only with his pocket and his private part. Any Muslim woman she can give herself to the Prophet. Why a Muslim woman she have to give herself to the Prophet? What does this have to do with God? As we see here. What does this have to do with God? How you can be, how I can be serving God by saying that God said, any woman she wanna give herself to me to sleep with me. And what, is that will make God happy supposedly? Isn't it Islam supposedly establish the value of marriage? What is the value of marriage? How a woman she offer herself to the prophet? And why he need that? The guy, he already have 13 wives. And he have hundreds of sex slaves. So why, what does this have to do with God? Those are a question we need to ask. 
If you are a Muslim and you are listening, if you are a Muhammadan and you have something to say, please feel free. You can call me anytime you wish. Now I will give you some answers. The Muslim they will say to you, they will say to you, do you know that David have uh, uh, you know hundreds of women? David was a king, and he was not doing what God told him. Actually, God he you know he rejected David badly. I mean, David was humiliated by God. David even he offered to build a temple for God. God said to him, "No, your your hand is full of blood. You are a criminal." He's a great king, but he was a bad man. And this is why you see in David's words how he is a crying for God, asking for forgiveness. He is not proud about his sin. David did not say that God gave me privilege to have sex with women. God, David did not say that God gave me privilege, etc., etc., etc. So there is a huge difference between I commit sin and I say, okay, well, I am a sinner. And I ask God for forgiveness or I commit sin and I claim that my sin it was a guideline or guidance from God so we cannot compare between this and that and here supposedly you know the same question will be asked for the Muslim that they come to you with the with the question regarding David if David was bad according to Islam why he's a prophet in Islam then this is a question they cannot ask. So the Muslims, they are desperately trying to answer you, but they have nothing really to say. And any Muslim, any Muhammadan who believe in Muhammad as God and Allah as a prophet, you can call me because reality is the God in Islam is Muhammad. Allah is just a name he used. Who is Allah? Muhammad never spoke to Allah, never heard Allah, never saw Allah. Never get anything from this Allah. I mean, even the Muslims agree that all the Quran Muhammad he have is given to him by a man who supposed to be an angel. I told you in the other day, I, I got an angel. He came to me. If you remember the story of Muhammad where he says that uh, an angel came to him and he squeezed him three times. Okay. Well, anyone can claim that, you know me. I uh, I will tell you a true story, brother. A female angel come to me in my dream and she squeezed me. And she said to me, "Read." I said to her, "I cannot read." So she squeezed me again, exactly the same as happened. With what happened with the prophet? And each time she said to me, "Read," I said to her, "I do not know how to read." She squeezed me again, and I was doing that on purpose, by the way, so she will squeeze me more. So even the story about Muhammad be, become a prophet, the start of his prophethood is funny and silly, and there's no witnesses. If we can ask any Muslim, okay, the angel came to Muhammad and he told him read, and then the and Muhammad says, I do not know how to read. What this is squeezing is about? What is, what is the purpose of the squeezing? What do you mean? How come? How come uh, Jibreel is a male angel? Because Muhammad, maybe he like male. I like females. What's your problem? And if I say to you, a female angel came to me and squeezed me, you will not believe me, and you Muslims will laugh at me, right? Okay. okay. So why you believe in Muhammad? If I say to you, same as Muhammad said, forget about the female angel and a male angel, which I don't like. Really. I prefer female angel to squeeze me. A male angel, that would be the real. Like uh, the first thing I would say to him, stop touching me. So uh, an angel came to Muhammad and he squeezed him. Okay, what is the proof? Where is the proof that such a thing happened? Any Muslim can tell me? And why he squeezed him? Let us assume the story happened. Why he? I want a Muslim to tell me exactly what is the purpose of the squeezing. Do we have any Muhammadan here would like to give us a call and tell us some information? Because the story here is very funny. I don't see any reason for it, and I don't see any explanation. And look here, you notice something very strange. Anyone notice something wrong with this story? 
if you notice if you read the story according to the Muslims not according to the story according to Muhammad according to the wives of Muhammad which Muslims consider as authentic remember this is Sahih Bukhari the angel came to Muhammad he did not say to him Shalom Salamu Alaikum Shalom Alaikum this is a Jewish greeting this is not Islamic greeting as Muslim claim this is something Muhammad he hijacked from the Jews and the proof here we go this is the beginning of Islam and there's no Shalom how an angel of Allah who supposedly is the same God of the Jews he come to Muhammad yet he did not say to him Shalom right uh, mr. justice how come uh, commit adultery was uh, okay you see mr. justice just to show you how how Muslims they they uh, they make uh, serious stories and I will give you their logic where is the mr. justice let me put his uh, text on the and the screen Here we go. Arabian prophet, if God was angry from with David, then why God gave David victories? Well, okay. <laughs> you see, just to show you the, the stupidity, the victories was not given to David, was given to the nation of Israel. This is number one. Number two, because David at the end of a king, and the one who will lose is the people, not the king. Secondly, uh, he, you are saying to me, if David, he committed adultery, how come he was not stoned to death? Well, he's a king who's going to stone him so he's a he's committing a crime and he is the authority now I want to ask you the same question in your Islamic books is convinced it's confirming that David not only he committed adultery he killed the husband of a woman the same as Muhammad did and he took the wife he sent the man for war so he will die this is how evil his act is and he took his wife and this is the same story exists in your Quran and in the interpretation so how come David was not stoned to death if Islam approves stoning to death and Muhammad was showing the Jews the punishment of death in the stoning verses in the and the Torah are you there mr. justice are you there so in Islam you praise David in the Bible David was condemned and we can show you tons of verses about David was condemned here we see the hypocrisy if we go in the Quran the yellow pages of Muhammad we will find this and I change any Muslim to show me or to call me and say hey show me where David he killed and where David he was praised your Quran praising David chapter 33 verse number 23 what this verse is about are you there mr. justice who is a Muslim would like to call me and tell me what this verse is about is that about killing the man wife killing the the, the, the husband of the, the wife of somebody and taking his wife so here we go this is the Quran saying that Allah even forgive why he forgive him what he did not only that he gave him victory and he made him a judge do you see it do you see it In the Quran it says that David he asked Allah for forgiveness so why he gave him victory and why he forgive him Muhammad here trying to copy the Bible and here you see the ignorance of the Muslims they think that we have something and he can use against us it's in your Quran So if I use the logic of Mr. Justice, that's mean Mr. Justice is getting his God busted because he is the one who said how he gave him victory if he is bad and why he was not stoned. Is that correct, guys? This is the question.
And this is his argument. Well, that's mean you don't believe in Islam no more. Because David in the Quran, he committed big sins and Allah let it go. In the top of that, after he commits sin, he gave him victory. And he made him a judge. The judge is corrupt. The judge himself is a sinner. This is your book. But because they are ignorant, they do not know what they have in their book. I never saw a Muslim, he have an idea, even those who claim sheikhs. Did you did you listen to the, my debate with the, with the Dr. Uh, uh, Rohi, Sheikh Rohi, the one who have a PhD from Azhar University? Each time I say something to him, he says, where is that from? Where you get this from? How, where, where we can find this from? They have no idea. So Muslims, either they play dumb, they don't know, or they are. Choose one. Right? Uh, Husni is asking a good question. Uh, but here, you see, I'm going to answer the Muslims just for the sake of showing you the logic of Muslims. Why Allah could not, uh, uh, why, sorry, uh, is saying, why, good, uh, why could not God save his people without sending his son being crucified? Why Allah could not sa save you without sending Muhammad and then he was killed by poison? Isn't it you, Muslim says that the Prophet, he paid his life for the mission and he was killed by poison. So why Allah cannot save us without sending Muhammad or sending Jibreel? Or even he is coming in the ground as you Muslims claim he came to, to Moses. Why Allah why Allah need to do all of this? So the, the Muslim questions showing me always immaturity. There's one thing is consistent about Islam. The second you believe in this cult, you are not mature. Why Allah He sent? Why Allah He did? So why you don't ask your God Allah? Ask him. Hmm? Why Allah He sent Muhammad? to die by poison and why Allah saved Jesus he did not save Muhammad why Allah came to Moses in the tree if, if the purpose is to make up uh, Moses a prophet he can make him a prophet without coming in the tree can't he so here you see that the Muslims have a questions but he never questioned his own cult which is teaching the same thing he copied from the Bible are you getting the point? Do you understand me? Supposedly they are questioning Christianity, but the fact they find themselves questioning themselves, but they don't dare to say, I'm going to question Allah. So why God cannot save? Who says God cannot save? He gave you, this is why he gave you opportunity. It's, it's you first of all in Christianity is not about it's not God who will save you. It's you save yourself This is why Jesus says knock at my door and I will open for you. So who is going to save you? Yes, Jesus is a savior, but you are the one who will save yourself He gave you free will in Islam. There is no free will and this is another stupid side of the cult of Islam Where Allah he wrote for you your destiny before he created you doesn't matter what you do Now we go back to our topic. How we will know if a prophet is a false prophet? There's many ways. If a prophet, he made a prophecy and the prophecy did not come true. That's number one. And Muhammad, he made millions of them. Millions. This guy, he cannot keep his mouth shut. Which is El Lah, God Lah. Number two. Number three. If a prophet he prophesy for his own benefit which mean the two the first two things are true and now he is prophesying to make profit and money and sex and this is exactly what Muhammad did number four if the prophet he claimed that his knowledge is knowledge of God but this knowledge is proven to be wrong as an example Muhammad he claimed that the Sun set in murky water Muhammad claimed that the, the, the hail is coming from the sky, from mountains in it. So Muhammad, he claimed many things taught to him by, by God, which is supposedly in this case, his name is Allah. But those things are stupid. There's no way Muhammad is a prophet then. If you read this verse as an example, and try not to laugh. 
chapter 24 verse number 43 the Muslims the Muslims in order to cover the shame and the lies of Muhammad look what they do they put like they put the word like but in the Quran there's no like and he sent down from the sky hail from mountains in it he sent what he sent the hail from where from mountains how we can prove that this is a false translation the Muslim trying to hide the disaster of Muhammad very easy we go right now and read the interpretation for the verse made by the Muhammadan not by the Christians not by the Jews you know remember the Christians don't like Muhammad so they might they might tell you things is not true okay uh, the Jews they don't like Muhammad so they might tell you something not true so what we would do we go to the Muslims who die to defend Muhammad and let us see what the Muhammadan how they interpret uh, give interpretation for this verse according to the Prophet chapter 24 verse number 43 this is a big a here and let us go and show you in the screen all right we will put it for you in the screen in a second Uh, chapter 24 verse number 43 43 okay <clears throat> let us laugh together all right this is the Islamic website of Ibn, uh, uh, and this is Ibn Kathir this is not a Christian prince and by the way Ibn Kathir is a big fat liar his book or his books is made to defend Muhammad not to explain the Quran remember that never never Muhammad Ibn Kathir never made a book to explain the Quran Ibn Kathir he made a book to defend the Quran as simple as that now read carefully with me this is the interpretation this is the statement in Arabic he sent down from from the sky the word men here men I mean it's stupid of them I mean they translate but they would they put the word men men in Arabic mean from from the sky from mountains where I says okay what does that mean I don't understand explain to us please mr. Uh, Ibn Kathir he sent from mountains ice or hail means that they are mountain of hail in the sky from which Allah he sent down ice do you see it so Muhammad the Prophet who claimed that his God his name is Allah told him information about how the hail is formed how the hail is formed according to Muhammad there is mountains in the sky where Allah he break ice and he throw it on us do you see it So the Muhammadan they are worried about why God he sent his son to save us but they are not worried about the prophet saying stupid things and yet they believe Muhammad they don't believe Jesus this is stupid this is cannot be from God you don't need to be a genius right you do not need to be a genius there's no way God he said that as long as there's no way God says that, that's mean Muhammad is making that up, and that's mean he's a false prophet. Correct? Who can explain to us why Muhammad he is saying something false? I want to go with you. You can tell me as much as you wish. Muhammad was a prophet, but is that a prophet really talking? Is that God talking? Or this is an idiot? He have no idea what he's talking about. When I say to you, God, he said to me, and then what God said to me is funny and stupid, then people will laugh at me. Any Muslim? Any Muhammadan? Hmm? How God he makes such a mistake? Who is a Muhammadan would like to give me a call? 
Let me be sure that my Skype is open. Give me a second. All right. My Skype is open. And uh, I want to ask people who send me text in Skype, please don't send me text in Skype. I, I open Skype only for the Muslim. Don't force me to block you. Don't force me. Don't send me articles. I am exist in this earth. I can read. I can see the news. I do not need your articles. Don't send me anything. Don't force me to block you. I have my Skype only open for Muslims. Now, who is a Muslim want to call me? Someone saying back then people were very much less intelligent. So maybe Allah was explain according to their level well you see when you uh, okay I will use your answer and I'm assuming that you are an answer you are a Muslim uh, Husani Hussein if Allah is explained according to the understanding uh, that will bring us many problems and thank you for saying that that means Allah himself he is less in intelligence because if somebody is less in intelligence and you want to explain to him something complicated, if you are God, you will not be having difficulty to make it simple and clear because you are God. And I do not need to lie in order to make it simple for them to understand and the understanding is wrong. Because you see, he did not say, he, uh, nobody is asking him to say exactly how it formed in a complicated way. But nobody is asking him to say that he sent it from mountains in heaven, which is a lie. So now let us say they are mistaken about how the ice is formed. After Allah said how it's formed, they are not only mistaken, they believe in a lie. So your, your, your excuse is very funny and very uh, immature. Because God should correct those who believe in a wrong belief. He should not give them wrong belief and make it the belief. Because now every single Muhammadan, he believe in the Quran to be the book of God. And that's it. You cannot even argue about it. So what kind of God he made them believe in such a belief? Unless he himself is a false God. And that is Muhammad. There's no way there's someone his name is Allah. Allah does not exist. The one is talking here is Muhammad. Muhammad fabricating stories. Do we have any Muslim who have a better answer? Any Muhammadan, he can give us better answer. How Allah, he makes such a stupid mistake. Allah is God, right? Okay, no problem. How Allah, the God, he do not know how the ice. I mean, this is very simple. This is not really uh, something very complicated. So false prophet, they, they always help us to prove themselves that they are false prophet. It's in the front of you. He's a false prophet. Who is a Muslim? He say no, he's not. Anyone? Who is a Muslim disagree with me? You want to say something to me? Look like all of you Muhammadan, you are in total agreement that Muhammad is a false prophet. Anyone? Who is a Muslim want to call me and give me one proof that Muhammad is a false prophet? Forget about all the lies in the Quran. Maybe something Muhammad he said it was, it come to be true. Do you have one thing Muhammad he said, it doesn't turn to be a lie later? Anyone? What is what is the thing Muhammad he said? It turned to be true. Like what? Any Muslim? Maybe the story of the ant who taught the other ants to run away is a true story. Maybe the story of a flying carpet. Maybe the story of the guy 
who his name is supposedly Solomon he dies standing on his stick and his ministers and his wives they did not know that he is dead month after month just because he is standing holding his stick and then the termite they ate his stick and this is how they found out that he's dead what what is exactly will make Muhammad a prophet for you anyone There is somebody saying, give us your ID, etc. Post your ID, we will call you, my friend. Give me your ID in the chat, I will call you myself. No problem, you are welcome. As long as you are a Muslim, all the Muslims can call me. Anyone? So where is the prophet who have a prophecy? This is not a prophet, this is a scam. And why Allah he make hail he make hail so he can hit the one he dislike do you see it okay how that can happen how God who created the hail do not know how the hail is created how God who created the baby he do not know how the baby is created how God who created everything he don't remember which one he created first the trees or the stars one verse says the trees first the other verse says the stars first how the how does God can be God how God he says in one verse that Allah he created everything in six days and in the other verse he says eight days Gaidun uh, Ibrahim, if you are a Muslim, give me your Skype ID, post it here, I will call you, no problem. Anyone? You see, even the Quran, he said, the Quran set for us a guideline to find out if, if Allah is God or not. How, how is that? Look what the Quran says. If this is a book other than God, this book coming from, you will find a lot of contradiction in it. Chapter 4, verse number 82. Allah saying that, supposedly, which is Aka Muhammad. Do you see it? If this book is from someone other than Allah, what you will find? You will find a lot of problems and contradictions. Who is the one saying that? Muhammad Aka Allah. Aka Allah Aka Muhammad. But that's mean we just to prove that Muhammad is a false prophet. Because we just showed you the evidence. Anyone who is a Muslim willing to give us a call? Who is a Muhammadan? He is sure from his belief. And you know, we will talk to you nicely. There's no need to shout and call names and use bad words, please. Feel free to call us and show us. We want to learn from you. The Quran says. أَفَلَا يَتَدَبَّرُونَ الْقُرْآنِ <laughs> Muhammad admitting that the Quran nobody can, you know, I mean, nobody can uh, accept. Why, why they don't accept the Quran? Why they are not considering the Quran? Because it's a, it's a fairy tale, it's a stupid book. And he says, oh, well, if it's not from Allah, you will find many uh, uh, contradiction in it. Here we go. This is the book of there's nothing there except contradictions. Who wanna prove me wrong? Anyone? All right?
You know, for me, I find the Quran a very interesting book because simply it's giving me an idea uh, in order, like, why I want to search why we in the Middle East, we still live in the cave time. I mean, I do not need to search, really. It's the Quran. Is the Quran the reason for we live in a cave time? You see, Islamic countries, you see, they said here, Islamic scientists, all what they call them Islamic scientists today, they were either atheists or Christians or non-believers non in Islam at all. But today they call them uh, scientists, Islamic scientists. When those scientists, they've been tortured, killed, run away for their life. And they are kuffar. And there's tons of videos speaking about those kuffar, who they are called scientists. Famous ones. So look what they do in order to make Islam look nicer they claim anyone born in the Middle East he is a Muslim scientist but this Muslim scientist he was considered as a Kafir during the time he lived and he rejected Islam according to them I will not be surprised if after 20 years from now they say that uh, what his name the founder of Apple, they will say he, he's a Muslim. Just wait. Anyone he die, he is famous. After he die, they say he was a Muslim. There's a guy who used to uh, dive in the ocean. His name Captain Costo, something like this. Is a French. After he died, he became a Muslim. How we know? We don't know. They fabricated even articles. They say there's a person. His name uh, Bernard Shaw. He wrote says. If the prophet was alive, he can solve all the problems of the world in five minutes while he's drinking a, 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 a cup of coffee. But we cannot find this in any of his book. Where, where is the book It says that? So they fabricate, they say things does not exist just in order to confuse you and to make you believe that Islam is a religion and this religion have something good. Right? Why I saw somebody uh, did somebody post his uh, Skype ID? Did somebody post his Skype ID? Let me know, please, if somebody did post his ID so we can call him. All right, hold on. I see somebody posted and he is calling me a coward he's excited let us see how excited he is okay here we go his name he called himself one god all right mr one one god call me i'm waiting for your call There's no need to call me coward. We will see who is the coward. Actually, we are here to challenge. And I'm the one who's asking who want to call me. <clears throat> right? Michael Jackson was a Muslim. As I know, he did not convert. But I wish he converted because this guy is a child molester. Everybody knows. I mean, at least be proud about something to be proud about. And I don't know the obsession about people saying, uh, uh, you know, about uh, someone is famous. Like uh, the other day, somebody sent me that with her name, uh, Kardashian, she became a Christian and her husband, who was a singer, became a Christian. Who cares? I mean, who so what? So, I mean, the people, they have an obsession of stupid things, like a famous person, just because he's a famous. Let us see if they are Christians really for true or not. Yeah. The, the fruit will show, not just goes going to church. I will expose your Jewish lie. Call me, Abdul. Call me. Don't tell me. <laughs> I'm calling the guy who channeled me. Let us see if he will answer. Answer, Abdul. He's not answering. 
Palmasha did not approve the call. Okay. Well, I will give you three minutes to call me back. Otherwise, I will block your name. Three minutes maximum. Think about it. Coward. Now. Anyone? He is willing to give us a call? And I will expose your Jewish lie. Look, I will expose your Jewish lie. They blame the Jews for anything. And my name is a Christian prince. He will expose the Jewish lie. <laughs> how, how brave you are. All right. <clears throat> uh... Well, I think the three minutes is over. I will give you one more time request. Maybe he think if he call me, if I call him, he can get my IP. I yeah, keep he keep trying. Maybe this is what is the purpose of this. Eh. Have have fun. Okay, let me block you. Say hi to mama. Who is next? So is Muhammad a prophet of God or he's a false prophet? Obviously, he's a false prophet. And this is why none of you Muslims dare to call me and prove me wrong. Where is this guy, his name Mimi Hijab, who wanna make, I'm going to make an inhalatory a refutation to the apostate prophet Rizwan. They are ganging against Rizwan. Why Rizwan? What's wrong with Rizwan? And go and see. By the way, did you see guys the videos I made for, about them? It is hilarious how stupid their, their refutation is. It is not only stupid, it is actually the word stupid does not even, it's like if somebody is stupid, he will sue you for calling those gang stupid. Because they don't even qualify to be stupid. They are less than stupid. I made a new one. I don't know how many of you saw it. Actually, I see. I saw only a few of you saw it. Uh, the new one is called what? Let us see what it's called. Uh, the moon splitting fairy tale and hilatory refutation of apostate prophet Razwan. See, this is like you guys are downloading my videos. So this person who have the video here, his name is Al Asuj. Uh, let me post the link for you so you can watch it and you can laugh. Maybe you can watch it later. Where are they? Why they are? Why Mimi Hijab is a challenging Rizwan? He don't want to challenge me. I want to know. Hey, Mimi Hijab, why you are a challenging Rizwan? Can't you challenge Christian Prince? Shouldn't we ask why they don't challenge me really? Here we go, my Skype is open. You don't even need to make a challenge. Just give me a call. Call this guy, Christian Prince, and get him busted. Tell him that Elijah means God is with us. And tell him that Allah, he pray for not to. And tell him, <laughs> I know this is coming. You don't speak Hebrew, and I'm going to teach you Arabic. I know this is coming. Well, why you don't call me? Right? Right? Okay. So they, they chase those who don't speak Arabic in purpose. And each time they speak to them, they say, <laughs> he doesn't know Arabic. <laughs> he doesn't know Arabic. Hold on. 95% of the Muslims do not know Arabic. Are you making fun of them? The majority of the Muslims, they don't speak one Arabic word. Did that who debate the Christians, I have a video about him saying that, he said, I don't speak Arabic. Did that who debate the Christians about their book, he himself, he do not know Arabic. But yet he come to us and say, Muhammadim, the Madamadim in the Bible. What about Zakir Naik? 
What about Shabir Ali? All of you run one after one. Now, who is a Muslim? He take a challenge, and I am here, and my Skype is open. I don't care who you are. Don't tell me your name. Your name is Mimi Hijab. Your name is Mimi Dawa. Your name is Mimi Shamsi. Your name is Mimi Hoo Hoo. I don't care. Just give me a call. Give me a call and prove me wrong. I don't know if the Muslims notice how big the challenge is. Because Muslims, when they want to debate somebody, they tell him what the topic. And usually they want to debate you only about one thing, the Trinity. The Trinity. Prove to me the Trinity is true. I do not need to prove it. The Quran prove it. Is it impossible for one to be three? The Muslim they say yes. Allah he says no. It it's possible. This is how ignorant the Muslims are about their cult. Is that your book or this is my book? Chapter four. Verse number, and you know, if you see the translation of the Muslims, you will see how how the translation became shish kebab falafel. Everybody add as he wish. They corrupt their book. They have no dignity. So if we go to the Islamic translation, see the Quran, chapter four, verse one seventy one. The same verse which it says, "Don't say Trinity," is the same verse confirming that it's three and one. By the way, this is not our Trinity. This is Islamic Trinity. You can be one and you are in the same time as three. Read carefully. All people of the book commit no excuse in your religion, nor say Allah ought but the truth. Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, and between two brackets, which means not exist, was a messenger of Allah. Okay, he's what? He's a man. He's a messenger. That's wonderful. So this is Jesus, the man. Remember, this is the Quran. Oh, let me change the color. Hold on. This is Jesus the man. Who is the one is explaining what is Jesus? Allah. Okay. So he is Jesus the man and he is the word of God. And he is the spirit proceeding from God. Not only is a spirit, is a spirit proceeding. Well, isn't it this is a three, but one in the same time? All of this is a three. Is Jesus Jesus is the man Jesus is the word and Jesus is the spirit and they say to you it's impossible for three to be one how he is the word but yet he is the man and yet he is the spirit the same verse says that three can be one when Jesus was the word he was Jesus still he was in heaven the Messiah this is why it says bestowed on Mary sent down to Mary so Jesus before he became a man he was a word the word of God is the word of God is a created Muslims they will say no actually the one who believed that the Quran is a created according to Islam he is not a Muslim. The word of God is not created. And Muhammad, he is trying to copy what is written in the book of John, chapter number one, verse number one. In the beginning, it was the word, and the word was with God, and the word, and the word is, and the word is God. Who is the word? That is Jesus. That is Jesus, my friend. What is the difference between the word of God and God, Muslims? Has somebody can tell me? Any Muslim have uh, some deep thinking to tell us? It is the logos, not the word. It's a, you know, this is a philosophy thing. The logos is still is the same. Because God and his word is one. Any Muslim? Any Muhammadan? 
So you say to us, three cannot be one. Here we go, your Quran saying three can be one, and that is the Messiah. Is Muhammad three and one? No, only Jesus. Is uh, Adam three and one? No, only Jesus. Actually, the only one in Islam is called Ruhullah, the Spirit of Allah, is Jesus. The second you say Ruhullah, you mean Jesus. You don't, you don't, you don't mean Adam. You don't mean Moses. You don't mean Muhammad. You don't mean Abraham. You mean Jesus specifically. Any Muslim can explain to us why? Why only Jesus is called Ruhullah, the Spirit of Allah? Anyone? Hajar, when I call you, his name Qatham Hajar. Okay, let's search for Mr. Qatham Hajar. See if he is serious. All right, let us see if this is the gentleman who want to call us. We send you hi, Mr. Qatham Hajar. If you are the person who is in the chat, send me hi back, please, and call me. All right. So if you look with me here, uh, the Messiah, he is exist in Islam before he came down to earth. How we can prove that? If you go in the Quran, you will find this. Chapter 3, verse number 45. Remember, by the way, the word remember doesn't exist in the Quran. Translation. When the angel said to Maryam, Verily Allah gave you glad tidings in news, or glad tidings words. And look what the Muslim put between the two brackets, B. Where is the word B? Where are you adding those things? Where are you adding those things? It's not there. He gave you glad tidings in news. His name is Al Masih, there is no uh, what he is adding there. His name is Al Masih, Isa, the son of Maryam. So, what his name? His name is Al Masih, not his name will be. He have a name already, and he exists. And not only that, he will be from the best of man, between the best of all those people, and the best at the end of the time. In the hereafter, he will speak in the cradle. But look at this disaster here. Muhammad was forty years old, yet he did not know how to read, how to write. Muhammad was forty years old, yet an angel came to him and squeezed him, and yet Muhammad he did not know what's happening. The Messiah he is born, and he speak the knowledge of God. Who taught him? And where? Where the Messiah was taught to speak as a as as a, the Word of God? Where he learned this? Guys, do you know what I'm saying? I became a prophet. God taught me. He gave me. He inspired me. Word. He gave me a, a revelation. I say it to you. That's all. It's not my words. Okay. But the Messiah here. He is at supposedly in the cradle. You see here, there's no Jibreel coming to him. Correct? I challenge any Muslim to show me where Jibreel is coming to him. Here we go. He's just born. He's just a child. He is a child, but yet. Speaking the word of God. Okay, where he learned that? Any Mohammedan can tell us? Who is the one and where the Messiah he learned to speak the word of God? Muhammad took him 40 years to become a prophet. After he became a prophet, the angel squeezed him three times. Muhammad had no idea. He go to his wife. He starts snoring, snow, sh shaking. His head is going like crazy. And then even he said to his wife, what's wrong with me? A Muslim saying Allah gave him the ability to speak. Prove it. Prove it. 
I can say I am the give him I am the one who gave him the ability to speak you see Muhammad came 600 years after Jesus so if he's reporting he's reporting something happened in the past correct guys so how you claim that the one who reports something in the past he can claim that he is the one who made it happen do you understand me people like I can be okay okay I want to tell you I'm a prophet okay next year will happen this and this and this and those things happen you can say oh well this guy most obviously you know he told us that his God will do this and it happened so it's obviously his God is the one who did it. but reporting something happened in the past there's no victory on that it happened already it happened when 600 years ago so I can say now that Jesus when he raised people from death I am the one who gave him ability you can claim that too. Now the guy you gave me his name is not. Uh, this is the same guy we 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 uh, we kicked him out. Isn't it the same guy? Let's give him a chance. He is not answering. Call declined. Look at this drama. The guy is even saying to me, who are you? I'm Jibreel. Squeezing time. Yeah, you see, somebody is asking Nico Loska, saying, "Well, how he he how he is speaking in the future time? Supposedly, Muhammad is going. You know, in the movie, they go back like on time. So he said that. So he's making it like, okay, this is what happened, but he this is what he told her that in the future will happen, but it's still, this is six hundred years ago, happened. So it's a silly." Let us block this guy who says to me, who are you? Any Muslim? Don't forget about him. I blocked him. I called him. He said, who are you? Supposedly, he did not know. As if he have no idea who's going to call him. Who is a Muhammadan want to call us? Anyone? So we can prove in, in, in less than 30 seconds that Muhammad is a false prophet for everything he says is wrong. As an example, okay, just to show you, just the stupidity. Hmm. Who is the one who taught him the wisdom? Allah. Where? How come Jibreel did not teach him? How come Muhammad he was taught by Jibreel but Jesus was taught by Allah and where this person is just born when you taught him before he was born that's when he was exist before his birth the only explanation for this that Jesus because he is the Word of God he do not need to be taught he is the Word of God so what the Messiah is even in the Quran he is the walking, talking, living word of God. He is the walking, talking, living word of God. Come to us in the flesh of a man. That is God, my friend. This is why Jesus did not need to learn. He is born with knowledge, for he is the knowledge. He is the word of God. And look, here, Muhammad, he said, that Allah will make him, 
I mean, where it says Allah will make him a messenger. I mean, the Muslim translation is really funny. Somebody saying uh, why Jesus did not know the hour. That's a that's a lie, my friend. Jesus in the same chapter where he says no one knows but the Father is the same chapter is telling you that he knew the hour. This is your understanding. But because in Christianity there is no preset date for the hour, so that is a decision the Father will take. You see, the Bible says if there is ten people only are decent for the city of uh, Gawam and uh, Amora, God will not destroy them. So what was preventing God from destroying those cities? If there's only 10 people left, they are decent. Just 10. So it was them who decide when destruction will happen. Do you understand people? In Christianity, we don't have a preset destiny. So God, he decide when there's nobody left is decent. And then destruction will come. That's it. The whole earth is corrupt. So it is us who decide when it's going to happen. The faster we corrupt ourselves, the less we have decent people exist in the earth, the faster judgment they will come. In Islam, the story is the opposite. And as long you are talking how come he or she do not know, your God do not know. Jesus, he, know, he knows. Everything Jesus said happened. Look what, what Allah, he said in the Quran. Allah, he said that the judgment day is near and the moon is split. But this is was 1400 years ago. And the moon never split. And there's no judgment, judgment day is in the corner. Do you see it? How Allah, he says such a thing. Anyone have an answer? If Allah is God, he knew the judgment day. How he says such a mistake? Yesterday, we just made a video. Go watch it. The Muslim said in his video, I wish I can play it for you, but you can watch it there. He said, the reason nobody noticed that the moon split because most of them, they were asleep. Like what? Allah, he make his miracle when everybody is asleep. Okay, by the way, guys, yesterday I made a miracle. Okay. Uh, amazing miracle. Uh, the reason nobody saw it, brother, because my neighbor was asleep, and the neighbor of the neighbor was asleep, and the next door was asleep, and the one in the front of me was asleep, and the one behind me is asleep, and the one down the street is asleep. The, the fact the whole country was asleep, but the, the, you cannot deny the miracle happened. I split the moon. Everybody was asleep. So why Allah He made the miracle? Is it the miracle supposed to show them what He can do? And not only that, he said in the video, go watch it. He said, uh, uh, suddenly, and secondly, uh, because the miracle was very, very short time. So even if you saw it, you will say to yourself, maybe I did not, maybe this is not true. Maybe it's not. Look at this stupid answer. You will doubt yourself if you saw it or not. Why Allah, he made it very short. Make it two hours. What about Allah? Make it happen in the daytime. He can bring the moon in the daytime and everybody will see it. This is God. So they have immature answer, immature logic. It is simply a madness. This is the link for those who like to watch it in case you like to see this video later. Save it and download it if you care. Prove to me that Jesus know the hour. Read the holy chapter. You will see that Jesus know the hour. He says when this happened and 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 this happened, the hour will be. Which means when you do those things, I will come to you. <laughs> Just finish it. Is that correct, guys? The same chapter, the same chapter you are reading for me is saying Jesus do not know the hour. You get a quote a verse out of context of the whole thing. Is the same one saying when you do those things and those things and those things and those things happen, then I will come to you. So Jesus saying to us, do it, and I will come. This is my hour. For now, this is your hour. Do whatever you want. But when the time comes, even in the Islamic cult of Islam, who is the one who will come in the judgment day? The Quran says, and even Muhammad says in the hadith, that the Messiah, he will come down, hakaman muqsitan. He will what? He will come down. 
coming down from where from heaven what is the Messiah he's in heaven he will descend upon you do you see it as an absolute judge and justice how Jesus can be the judge unless he is God you see here it says Hakaman Muqsitan not only he is a judge he is justice and he is just and my friend nobody can be just save God is that correct guys who can be just nobody can be just I cannot be just because I judge by my knowledge and as long as I'm judging by my knowledge that's mean maybe the victim is the criminal and maybe the criminal is the victim but I believe one other uh, than the other because he have more proof so the only way to be just is to be God who is here agree with me that only God can be just and don't come with the Mahdi Mahdi is a stupid story even the Mahdi story says the Mahdi will come to prepare to Jesus his coming so get have fun with your Mahdi according to you Muslim this guy the Mahdi who is just a fabrication story he will come and he will fight with the devil and he will lose he will not be able to make it then the Messiah will come and he is the one who will kill the pig which is the devil supposedly I mean even the pig Allah have a problem with pigs Al Mahdi is a guy from the Shia you know belief who uh, was killed by the Caliphate he kidnapped him because he have a huge impact in the community and then those Shia they start believing that Al Mahdi this is the Mahdi he disappeared and he took the true Quran with him Quran of Fatima and he will come one day just meet me when you come one day he will come one day yeah the guy he was killed what Al Mahdi and what Al Mahdi would do nothing really the one who will accomplish anything and everything is Jesus and here you have another stupid part of the story if the if the one who will finish the plan of God is Jesus so who is Muhammad correct Who is Muhammad then? So what, what the Ibn the Ancestor? The Prophet beat upon him. He said that the Messiah beat upon him is going to come and defend for us in the judgment day. Uh, brother Dr. Naik, Christian Prince, don't ask me a question. I have no answer for you. Uh, but uh, just a uh, smaller question, if you don't mind. I don't care. And secondly, I told the call the police for you because you are doing all what Katkal uh, doing, doing what? And you are doing take the Allah uh, Hadith. I did not understand this part. Can you repeat the story? Because I'm very excited. You are doing for me sexual harassment. Sexual harassment? How is that? Because nobody you call me after the middle of the night. When I have no panties. Oh, okay, I will not call you after the middle of the night. Is it after the middle of the night now? Exactly. Who is a Muslim who tell me how Jesus can be judge and just unless he is God? And why Jesus is still alive and everybody is dead, including Muhammad? No answer. How come only Jesus, when Shaitan he see him, he will melt like salt in the water? Anyone can tell us? They have no answer. Did Muhammad he say Shaitan will melt? Let us see if we can find the hadith. Here we go. Is that my word or your prophet words? When Shaitan he see the Messiah, he will dissolve like dissolve like a salt dissolve in the water. Do you see it? When the enemy of Allah would see him, who is that? The devil. He will dissolve just as the salt dissolves itself, itself in the water. Do you see it? Who is this Jesus? You tell me. How come the devil, he was jumping in the top of the shoulders of Muhammad? Uh, 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 uh. 
how come the devil was commanding Muhammad but the devil when he see Jesus he dissolved like salt this is your prophet saying that the devil the shaitan he command him to do good do you see it and this is Sahih Hadith he command me to do good the devil who the devil You're a prophet admitting that he received commands from the devil. Yet when the devil see the Messiah, he dissolved like salt. Do you see it? Question. If the Messiah is not God, he is just a prophet. And Muhammad is the best of the prophet of all the prophets. How come the devil command Muhammad? But yet the devil dissolved like salt. I mean, can you imagine how powerful this person is? The devil is not even standing, the, the, cannot stand in front of him. The second he see him, he dissolved like salt. Uh, Hassoon, I don't like stupid talk. First, the, the Messiah will not return with Mahdi. That's stupid lie. You know, you, you Muslims, you have a very weird stories. You fabricate your own. The Mahdi will not come with the Messiah. Secondly, the one who will dissolve the shaitan. This video is made by Muslims speaking about that. Go watch it and laugh. Any Muslim can tell us where what, what is that? How powerful this person to the point the devil. Do you know how powerful the devil is? The second he see the Messiah, he will be melted like salt. He's nothing. He's totally nothing. That is my Lord, my friend. That is my Lord. The Messiah his name is holy because of his own holiness the devil cannot stand being in his present and when he come the second coming he will be not coming as a humble man as we saw him first time he will come with the glory of the Lord he will be the king of the kings and the devil cannot see his glory and live so there's a huge difference between the Messiah who came to us first time and the Messiah he will come second time even though it's the same Messiah the second Messiah will come as a judge for his God and the Bible confirmed that he is going to judge us the judgment of all mankind in the hand of the Messiah and as you see even your prophet the false prophet Muhammad Confirming that the Messiah he is going to be just and judge. Where is Allah then? Where is Muhammad then? One of the names of Allah supposedly Al-Adil, which means the judge, as just. The just. So how the Messiah can be the just? And look at them. We are here for how long? Where is the Muslims? Who is a Muslim when I call me? You see how false this cult is? You see how easy to destroy it? <clears throat> Why Muslims allowed sin Saudi Arabia? Because many people die everywhere during Hajj. Well, this is not really important about people dying uh, because of Hajj. Uh, but there's a there's a better question. Someone is asking me about this issue, the Hajj. But let me show you another another proof that Islam is a false religion. Very very easy. You do not need to be a person who have knowledge of like uh, Islam or read books and spend your life reading. No, there is there is a very very easy method, and and I want you to remember it. Let me show it to you. <clears throat> All right. I want you to look with me carefully at those images I will put it for you on the screen and here you need to ask yourself a very simple question 
maybe you can tell me what the question will be after you see this image what do we what do we see in the image guys what we see in this image anybody can tell me what do you see what do you see flood right the flood of what the Kaaba okay all the cities of Saudi Arabia I don't know how many of you live there in the house there's a septic tank where you put your you dump your poopoo there so when there is a lot of rain if rain happened the rain will take with it all the poop and the piss and the urine all together and will be mixed with the rain water all of it will go all together to the lowest point in Mecca which is the Kaaba question who is the one who chose the location of the Kaaba Muslims give me the answer please who is the one who chose the location of the Kaaba any Muslim want to answer us they will say Allah okay Allah imagine you gave a company engineering company to choose for you the best location for your house and you are God and then you choose the worst location where all the sewage water will come to you so if Allah is the one who choose this location how Allah can be a fool like this and by the way let us say this is the best location Allah can by 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 an order he can lift up the ground can't he even now he can do it can't he say hey ground go up uh, 50 meter up 10 meter up save his house from the poopoo -poo. very easy to expose the cult of Muhammad do you see how easy it is God he chose his house to be in the way of the poopoo -poo. this is God be God Muslims they have torn videos. Do you know that Mecca is in the middle of the earth? That's stupid to say my friend What do you mean middle of the earth? The earth is not a flat to be in the middle And those lines we draw In the map they are fake they are not real Do we have any Muslim want to say something? If I want to buy a house, I will be sure that the elevation will be high and there's no way it's going to be swimming with the mud and the poop of others destroying my house. But this is the house of God. The reason for that, Muhammad is not the one, neither his God who chose that. It was the pagan before Islam. Muhammad is a pagan like the pagan. He's a pagan. He carry on the same belief. Any Muslim? Anyone? Who is a Muslim? He have a knowledge. He went to college. Or you are the same as the private illiterate. Huh? Anyone? I am a Christian prince and I challenge you all together. Group and individuals, organizations, to call me and to prove me wrong. Who can do it? And the one who will defend Islam will win for sure Allah will reward you with big reward hmm? anyone actually the reward of Allah in the Quran is enough to prove that Islam is a scam because what kind of God he says to me I will give you women with big boobs 
Have you ever heard of a God like this? Don't take me wrong. I did not say I don't like women. But who said I don't? I, I mean, I mean, what is this boob is about? Do they have to be big? How big? This is how God he promised me heaven. If we ask Zach and Nick about this uh, big boob stuff, what you will say? Because Zach and Nick, you will not answer unless you, you call him three times. The same as the prophet. Everything he do is three times. Even assalamu alaikum, you say three times. Hello? Christian Prince, I told you, don't ever call me. But I, I know it's you. How you know it's me? I know it's you because you are the only one who called me when I'm holding the booth of my wife. But hold on. I just, I, I'm, I, have, I have, how you know I'm going to talk about boobs? Because you are calling me in the booby time. I'm calling you in which time? In the booby time. Booby time? Uh, okay. So how Allah in the Quran, he promised us women with big boobs. What is that is about? This is because you are stupid. And obviously you are not many enough to understand that we men, we like women with big boobs. You really? Men, they like women with big boobs. What about the small ones? They are not bad. I mean, they are bad. What we will do with them? We we'll throw them in the garbage. Allah is the promise at the bit of the women. And because he the promise at the bit of the women, they, he promised out the women with big, big, big boobs. Hey, brother, can I play like boxing with them? Like boom, like you know, the, 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 the boxing? Exactly. You can practice boxing with them. You can practice many things with them. And not only that, in case you have a flood around the Kaaba, you can use them to float in the top of the water. Uh, okay. I never thought about this one. They float, right? Yes, because they are big balloon. They are like a big, big, big balloon, a huge balloon. And you can hold them. And they will swim in the top of the water and you will be safe from the flood of Noah. Okay. Um, thank you, Zach and Ike, for the answer. It was perfect. May Allah bless you, brother. Hmm? This is this is what Islam is about. <clears throat> uh, Hassan Alpha is asking, can you explain to us who saw uh, Jesus after uh, uh, after after resurrection? I think you want to say, my friend. The Bible says thousands of people saw Jesus, not only and all the disciples they saw Jesus. So you have a very your question is not accurate because. There's many, 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 and all the disciples they saw Jesus after his resurrection. Very naive a question showing us that Muslims they have no idea. They are copy paste people. Copy paste. And by the way, are you saying that your God is lying? So why are your prophet saying that Jesus will descend unless he resurrected up? He will descend. Where is Jesus? Is in heaven. Who is witnessing for that? Muhammad. Maybe you will say Muhammad is a liar. All right, we have somebody want to call. <clears throat> we gave him hi. Well, let's see. <clears throat> the reason why there is no Muslim <clears throat> allowed sins in Saudi Arabia? What do you mean allowed sin? Says Saudi Arabia is the land of the, the land of sin, because many people die every day during Hajj, so to avoid more people from dying, Christians and Jews are forbidden. I hope you clarify this clarify the matter for you. The lady who said that to me, her name is Sarah. With my respect to you, Sarah, you are ignorant about your religion. Because the one who said the reason why Christians cannot go to Mecca is Allah, because they are najis. So not because Allah wanna avoid less death. 
as you claim because the in the Kaaba it's very busy and people walk in the top of each other which is additional proof Islam to be false because don't Allah knew that the Muslim number will grow and Mecca doesn't fit for all those people but just to show you your ignorance the lady who sent me a text it says oh who you believe in Allah verily the mushrikeen who is the mushrikeen anyone who believe you know not in Allah as Islam anyone who don't believe in Allah is a mushrikeen they are najis on they are najis filthy so let them come no more to the Kaaba so it's not the excuse you gave me and I mean in the way you know this is this is silly go and learn your religion before you open your mouth before you open your mouth trying to answer a Christian prince learn your religion Who's next? Okay, we have a guy here. Let us see. Look like we have a fish. Finally, you sit in the front of the lake for six hours and then you get one fish. you too please mute mute you too mute you too please oh. let us try again Called decline. I mean, what's happening with those Muslims? I need to call, but I cannot speak English. So, what I will do for you? Should I go to school and learn different language? Well, what I will do now? You don't speak English. Okay, let me block you. Who's next? We thought it's a fish that turned to be sardine, sadly. Who is a Muslim would like to call me? I mean, isn't it obvious if you call me, you are going to speak English? So why you are saying I want to call you? So, okay, if you don't speak my language, I don't speak your language. So what language will you speak? Right? Why your God did not stop them then? Stop them from what? No, 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 no. You see, God, God, he says that the gate is wide for, for hell. And people, they have a choice as we believe in a free will. So a free will, God, he told them, he sent he send you the Bible, he sent you the gospel, and he sent his messengers. And he said, those are the my messengers speaking to you. And the one who will save you is Jesus. Eh, you accept it, you don't accept this is your business. Why God will stop you? You want to go to hell? Go to hell. The question is, can be given to you? Because look what the Quran says. لو شاء الله ما أشركوا. If Allah, if Allah will, they will never be disbelievers. So it was the will of Allah. See how Muslims, they always hit themselves in the foot. Muhammad, in order to explain why the, this, why those people will not believe, look what he said. It is the will of Allah. Had Allah willed, they would not have taken others beside him to worship. Do you see it, Abdul, the one who asked me the question? It's, it was the will of Allah. It is the will of Allah that you Muslims and those who they are not Muslims to believe or not to believe it is just the will of Allah it's not your will and here we see another side of stupidity in Islam because if it is the will of Allah so what is my fault and look here what Muhammad in the Quran he said in the hadith Muhammad he explained 
that a person he do the work of Allah as Allah told him like to kill the Christians rape women Christian women rape Jewish women attack the Hindus the Buddhas as Allah told him all his life and then what Allah he wrote for him will take over and then he act as Allah he wrote for him and then he go to hell do you see it what kind of religion is religion is so you believe in Allah you don't believe in Allah it doesn't matter it's at, it's at the end of the day it's what Allah he wrote for you read carefully this is your prophet this is Sahih you can't say this is weak this is Sahih Muhammad is swearing by Allah saying Muhammad is swearing by Allah saying listen carefully A man of you, a man of you, which means he's given us two examples of two people. This is all mankind example. A person among you may do the deeds of the people of the fire till there is only a cupid or an arm breath distance between him and the fire. Look at this, the guy is doing the act of hellfire until almost he is there but then that written which Allah has ordered the angels to write this is your fate your destiny proceed and he does the deeds of the people of paradise and he enter it do you see it but the guy he was doing the work of hellfire what will make him go to heaven what Allah wrote proceed it's not your decision it's not your act no it's what Allah wrote for you at the end of the day. And then Muhammad giving you another example saying, a man will do the deeds of the people of paradise till there is only one cubit or two between him and paradise, almost there. This guy, he pray five times a day. He joined ISIS. He joined Al-Qaeda. He explored almost himself to go to heaven. But what Allah wrote for him will proceed. And then that written proceed and he does the deed of the people of fire and he entered do you see it so in islam there is no free will at the end of the day it's not what you do what allah wrote for you will take over and will proceed do you see it who want to believe in such a cult right somebody saying he is the first born uh, is just, uh, okay so how he can be God you see uh, this is a uh, this is a good question by the way the Muslim is asking a question that's amazing <laughs> hello stupid woman playing a recording for me You know what his name? The guy who is uh, asking question. Why you don't call us so we can answer you? The one who called his name Husni. How Jesus is the firstborn? Well, the firstborn, first of all, does not mean he is the first created. That means he is the first of everything. And what we, we talk about, Jesus is the firstborn. What is that? When the Bible says that the word was with God and the word was God, and that word became a flesh and then the Bible says everything created by him and for him which mean every creation is made by Jesus he himself is the creator he is not a created so first born that the word who became a man that what it's meant however he is God already for he is the word of God and the Bible says the word with God and the word was God and this is why the Messiah he said I am just to give you an example of what we are talking about for those naive Muslims I feel sorry for them you see they cannot answer us about their book they try to take us away from our topic but this doesn't hurt it's help actually it helped to confirm something very important about who is Jesus and what what Muhammad is about but I understand that you are not, you know, you are a Muslim. 
who copy paste. Let me show you something very important. So you may learn something good for your future. When the Messiah speak about himself and he say, I am. And this is one of the examples of many verses. Jesus saying, I am the resurrection. What does that mean? There is no resurrection without me. I am the one who have the power to resurrect you from the grave. I am the way. What does that mean? Does that mean saying I am? I can say I am too. I can say I am. The word I am is not a big deal to say it. Anyone can say I am. You can say I am. So what Jesus is talking about? I am the life. I am the door. I am the way. I am the truth. So the firstborn is the one who say, I am the life, which means before him there's no life. So he is not created. He is the life himself. From his life, all life is born. And this is why you see the God of Islam trying to copy from the Bible where it says that uh, Allah, he breathed into Adam, into, into the mud. And that mud became a living creature. That what? That mud became a living creature. Read with me here carefully. Isaiah 41, 4, it says, Who has worth and done it? Calling the generation from the beginning, the Lord, the first and the last, and with the last, I am he. That's what Jesus is saying. I am he, the one who brought life, the one who is the way, the one who is the resurrection, the one who is the truth. Otherwise, anyone who say I am the life, either he is a crazy or he is really God. The one who say I am the truth, he is a crazy or is God because I can be someone telling the truth, but I am not the truth. One of the names of Allah in Islam is the truth. So Allah, who came 600 years after Jesus, trying to copy, Muhammad copying the name of Jesus, the titles of Jesus. Allahu Nur, Jesus says, I am the light. So Allah, who is made by Muhammad, claiming to be that he is the light, but Jesus claimed that title to him 600 years before Muhammad exists. So my friend, when a Muslim, he try his best, always he help us to prove Islam to be a false cult. Any Muslim have an answer to tell us how Jesus says, I am the life, I am the resurrection. And yet they say to you, where Jesus says, I am God, worship me. Huh? Where Jesus said, I am God, worship me. All those verses saying that. Who's next? Anyone? Who is a Muslim willing to call us? <clears throat> call me Khan HZZ. What HZ mean? Why you don't call yourself Khan Pepsi Cola? What is that? When what this fire is about? You are you are burning. You are sitting on fire. Okay, let me let me call you. Hold on. Here we go, Khan. We are calling you. Answer. Khan is using the internet of the neighbors. Hello. 
Khan, we are calling you. But are you using the internet of the neighbor, my friend? Lord have mercy. He is in fire and he is. It says you are not even online. Call me. So, all this drama. Oh, here we go. Yes, uh, Mr. Khan. Hello. Hello. You are live on air, my friend. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? No, actually, you are misrepresenting Jesus. Actually. Really? Okay. Yeah. Tell me, tell me about uh, Jesus. Do, do you know who is Jesus? Yeah. Who is, who, is, who is Jesus? He, Jesus was a prophet. Jesus was an Abdul servant of Allah. Ah, Abdul. Okay. Well, can you show me the name of Jesus in the Quran? No, he is Isa ibn Maryam. Okay, yeah. so how in the Quran he called him Isa? Who is Isa? Isa was a prophet. Okay, a but, uh, but, prophet. Uh, but the one we have, his name is Yeshua. How, how Yeshua became Isa? Yeshua is the Hebrew term. Okay, so this is Arabic name you mean? Isa means the salvation. So Isa means the salvation. So you are saying to me that the Quran is saying that Jesus is the salvation. Yeah, Allah is using him so, to bring so, so, salvation. So, okay. so how Jesus is the salvation? He is the salvation. He is not just, he is the salvation. That's what you say to me. Hello? Hello? Are you Hello? there? Yeah. So you say that Isa is the salvation. How is that? Yeah, I was saying that Isa was the salvation only for Jews. Because mm. if you read Isaiah 53, God mm. said that uh, for salvation of my people, he will die. Mm. And in Isaiah 52... Okay, oh, hold on, hold on. He will, he will die? He will die? He will die? Yeah. Okay, so does the Quran say that Jesus died? The Quran says that they did not kill him. Hmm. Jews didn't kill Jesus. Just, the, the Jews Allah, did not kill Jesus. Okay, what happened to Jesus? Allah killed Jesus and Allah deceived the Jews. Allah and deceived then, the Jews. Okay. So did Allah deceive the Jews or deceive the Christians? Christians were deceived by devil. Satan. But you are the one who said to me that Allah he deceived the Jews. At that time, all the Jews, all the Christians are Jews. Yeah, just like Allah deceived Pharaoh. Okay. Allah deceived the Jews. How how Allah deceived Pharaoh? How Allah deceived Pharaoh? He's splitting the. But this is not this, this is not this is not deception. This is a miracle. What this even? Hey, hey, let's focus on Jesus now. So Allah he made the Jews think that they killed Jesus. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and you are the Jews one who used, and, and you that, are the one who used uh, the word we, deceived. But as you see, uh, uh, Allah He waited six hundred years to tell us that the one who died in the cross it was not Jesus, and you are the one who used Allah the word never, deceived. Allah never told that uh, that the salvation thing on the cross. I mean, this is completely no, no problem. Don't God. don't go there. Don't go there. Don't change topic. See, you are the one who said to me that Jesus is salvation. This is your term, and this is your. Yeah, word. It, it, don't, don't talk, yeah, don't talk. Yeah, just, yeah. Wait, just, just, just wait, just wait, just wait. Let me finish my, my point. And then you are saying to us that Allah He deceived the Jews, but isn't it you who said to me, just like Pharaoh? Just, hold on, isn't it you who said to me that Allah He sent Jesus to the Jews? Yeah, okay. So, Allah, if He sent Jesus to the Jews, He sent Jesus to these Jews to deceive them or to guide them? No, to deceive them because Jews planned. Planned against Jesus. So Allah he did Messiah. not send Jesus to the Jews to guide them. He sent the Jesus to deceive the Jews. Allah sent all the prophets to guide the Jews, but because of the Jewish plans, Allah. Okay. So did his Allah send? Okay. Let us go. Let us go from zero. When Allah he sent Jesus to the Jews, did he send him to guide them or to deceive them? No, in, that's why I'm telling that the initial plan of Allah was. To guide the Jews, but okay. then later. Hold on. So, are you saying to me? Are you saying to me that Allah He was not aware that the Jews they will not be guided? He do not know. Uh, this is a human perspective of telling. If you read no, this Genesis is not, I'm, not 6, I'm not talking about a human perspective. Time. No, no, don't don't go there. You are an Ahmadiyya, aren't you? 
No, 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 no. Okay. I'm not. So what do you think about the Ahmadiyya? Do you think he is a prophet, Ahmad Ghulam Zakhwan? Oh, they were. They are infidels. Okay, they hold are on. Not okay, and, and you are an infidel too, and we'll prove it in a second. Hold on. So when Allah He sent Jesus to the Jews, don't He knew that the Jews will kill Him or will try to kill Him? Do He knew or not? Yeah. Okay. If you talk about His hyper okay. knowledge, then yeah. Jesus, He come with the book. It's called Injil. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. What the word Injil mean? Good news. In which language? Good news in Greek. Greek. So how also Jesus, he was sent to the Jews. Okay. How Jesus was sent to the Jews, but yet his book is in a Greek. Oh, because Greek was one type of international language like today's English. Mm -hmm. And that's why. Okay, hold on. But your Quran says that Allah, he never sent any prophet unless he speak the language of his people. Yeah, Jews okay. also spoke Greek. If you read Acts, Book okay. of Acts, okay. you hold, have on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. It says, Bilisani Qawmihi. Lisani Qawmihi is the language of the people, not languages they speak. It have to be their language, their tongue. And this is in chapter 14, verse number 4. Read it for us. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm telling that Jews spoke Greek. My friend, my friend. The Jews who they are living in Arabia, they, they speak a Greek? No, you have a misunderstanding. Okay, no, I'm asking you. Okay, if Allah is so did Allah send his book to the Greek or he sent it to the Jews? No, no. Jesus spoke in Aramaic, but later his apostles in Matthew. No problem. Matthew. Allah did he send his book in Hebrew okay. or he sent it in a Greek language? In Greek. Okay, because where, is, there was where no we can find the book? So, guys, re remember this: Allah He sent His book to the to the Jews in Greek language. Where you yeah, get this? The Injil, okay, the hold on, hold on. No, 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 my friend. What, what, just wait, wait. Where we can find the reference for that? That Allah He sent His book to the. No, no, we do not have any reference in the. So, Quran. what are you are saying that to me? Where you, where you get this from? Where you get this from? We don't have like all reference in the Quran. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't. So, where you give me your answer from? You, the answer have to come from somewhere, unless you are claiming to be God and you know everything. Yeah, yeah, where yeah, your yeah. answer no, is coming no, from? No, no, history, from history. No, history. I'm not God. Okay, which history? God which history you Muslims approve? Do you approve the history or you approve what Muhammad said? Because everything Muhammad he said is against history. As an example, let me ask you. What is the name of the grandfather of uh, uh, Isa in according to Islam? Grandfather of Isa. Jesus. Yeah. Imran. Amran. But isn't it this is the grand is, isn't it this is the father of Moses? Yeah, but there is a typology in the Quran like from Musa there, and Jesus. There is what? Type typology. Uh, you know that uh, Jesus, the sister of uh, Mary, the sister of okay, so, Aaron. So is 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 Jesus the? Uh, I, is, I I saw this in the commentary. All right, I'm asking you. Is is Moses is the uncle of Isa? No. Okay. So how how Mary she became the daughter of Amran, who is the father of Moses? This is a typology language. This is what. Even if it, Christian community they use this type of type of no no we don't have we don't have Roman. first of all first of all yeah, yeah, yeah. first of all uh, Mary Listen, she is not Roman even from the tribe Mary she is not even from the tribe of Moses so how Mary she became the sister of Aaron and how the father name of Mary change as long you are a person who is familiar with the Bible what is the name what is the name of the mother the father of Mary what is the name hold on you are the one who says to me you will have evidence from history okay according to history what is the father? Who is the father of Mary? Who is the father of Virgin Mary? Yes. Joachim. Okay. Akurin so who is Amran? You are the one who told me Amran. Isn't it you who said to me her father is Amran? So I thought was, this is it, like in Roman Catholicism. Mary is called the What Roman sign. Catholicism? Don't, don't play games with me. There's, <laughs> there's two fathers, either father-in-law, like the woman she married, the one who the father of her husband, this is her father too, father-in-law. Or real father, so neither of them. His name is Omran. Omran in the Quran is the guy who is married to the mother of Mary. Do you agree? Jesus in the Bible, he said he's the son of David. He My was friend, not the don't go there. What this is? What this have to do yeah, with yeah, the topic? This is the same oh, logic. No, no, it's this is not the same logic. This is not the same logic. The name Jesus, is the guy. Listen, listen. Don't play games. 
who is the one who is the one who slept with the mother of Jesus? Who is the one? No one. This was a miracle. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about who is the father of uh, Jesus now. I'm asking you, who is the one who slept with the mother of the mother of Jesus? Not, not, not Mary, the, her mother, the mother of Mary. Who is the one who slept with her? Mother. Yeah. Saint Anne. Saint Annie and Saint my friend, Sarah. who is the who is the one who is the husband of the mother of Jesus? Husband of the mother of Jesus. The mother of the mother of Jesus. The mother of the which means the mother, grandmother. Joachim, Joachim, Joachim. Who? Okay. So how how what what the Quran says? Who is the one who is married to the mother of the mother of Jesus? Quran doesn't say that. Like, like. Are you sure? You're confusing like Jesus. No, no. Was are you Jesus sure? I'm asking you. Are you sure? Say yes. Are you sure the Quran does not say that? Quran does not say my friend. Like what I, I, or, or what I'm asking you. Are you sure either you say yes? I'm sure or you say I am an ignorant. Please talk, teach me What I know which verse are you trying to tell me? I am not asking you either you say yes or I say no, so I'm asking you according to the Quran who is the Husband of the mother of the mother of Jesus Imran So what you said to me it doesn't say that But because you misunderstood the concept that's why hold I on hold on I asked you who is the father of Mary you said you were came according to you, right? According to history. No, no, okay according so is that history correct you are the one who says we learn from history So which one you approve the Quran or the history? No, no, Imran was not the husband of Saint Annie or the father of Virgin Mary. It okay. was a typological language. Okay. Just like Jesus claimed okay. he from, was the son from, of David. And from where you get uh, this uh, int like interpretation, my friend? This was, yeah, I, I read this in the commentary. I said in Ibn Kathir. Who, Ibn Kathir, he said that. Give me the verse number so we can read. The commentary, Ibn Kathir, then all other commentaries okay no i'm asking you where in the commentary of Ibn Kathir it says what verse now i can't remember like you i mean my I friend just here that. we are speaking of Which? reference we don't speak without reference here we go this is the quran and whoever said that to you is an idiot read with me carefully do you know how to read okay do you know how to read yeah yeah okay read for me the verse if you remember when the wife of Imran said, Oh my Lord, I have vowed okay. to you what is in my womb. She is who? She is the wife of Imran, correct? Yeah. Okay, so what is the wife of which in which language the wife of Imran does not mean the wife of Imran? In Semitic language. That is a stupid of you to say, my friend. It says the wife of Imran. That is that's mean. It's not the wife of Imran. Jesus of said. He was the Look at this, guys. Idiot. The verse saying the wife of Amran. Okay, what if we go right now, me and you, and we read the interpretation of Ibn Kathir, and everybody will laugh that you are lying to us, and you said Ibn Kathir, he said that. Listen, 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 do... listen. I'm asking you, if we go right now to Ibn Kathir, are we going to find what you said, or you are a liar? But you know that. Don't tell me, but don't but me, don't but me. I'm asking you, if we go to Ibn Kathir, my friend, I'm speaking to you nicely. If we go I'm to Ibn, sure. uh, don't, are you well, a second ago, you were sure. I asked you where you said Ibn Kathir. I asked you where you're this from. I just no, 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 no. You, so you are lying. You are lying, my friend. You are everybody heard you saying you heard that from Ibn Kathir interpretation. No, this is not but misunderstanding. You, know. you said that, and this is Ibn Kathir, and you are a liar. You have to admit that you are a liar, a logical liar. So it is a mistake in the Quran. Remember, you agreed. You are the one who agreed that there is no way that the father of uh, uh, the, the 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 Mary, the mother of Jesus, her father is Amran. Then you, can you did explain? You, did why you agree? Did you agree with that? Did you ag did you David. agree with that? Did you agree with that? Yes, you okay. agreed, right? Okay. Now the Quran yeah, yeah. and the interpretation confirm that the father of Mary is Amran. No. What do you mean now? This is Semitic language. This okay, is Semitic show me language. where it, here we Again, go. This, this is Ibn Kathir. Show me where it says that. Jesus. Here we go. No, no. The wife, the wife of Say. Omran. Listen carefully. This is Ibn Kathir. This is Ibn Kathir. Okay. This is Ibn Kathir, okay. the one you are hiding behind his back. The wife of Amran mentioned here is the mother of Mary. I mean, how clear we can make it more. Yeah. 
Okay, so why are you lying? So it's not a Semitic language as you claim, as, as you lie to us. So she is the wife of Amran, and the father of Musa's is Amran too, correct? Yeah. Okay, here we explain then how Muhammad, he said that Mary is the sister. Yeah, I am, the I, sis, I the sister listen, this. Mary is the sister of Aaron. So now the yeah, idea yeah. became clear. So Mary, she is the sister of Aaron because Aaron, his father is Amran. Yeah. Okay. So I this mean, is the, so this is a mistake. In the, this is a mistake in the Quran. It's, it's obvious. No mistake in the Ibn Kathir, not in the Quran. My friend, the Quran saying this is the wife. She is the wife of Amran. The Quran saying that. What's wrong with you? But look at the Bible. My friend, the don't tell me look at the Bible. Don't look at the Bible. You, you, you Muslims, you don't have an idea about the Bible. You copy paste. Does the Quran say clearly with the clear words in Arabic? Why the call it Imra to Imran, Imran, Rabbi, Imra to Imran, Imra to Imran. Do you know Arabic? No, no. I okay, don't, so what Imra? Okay, in your language, whatever you have, what translation you are reading? English. Okay, what translation you read? English. I know I, what the translation I, you read. What? Who is the translator? What, which translator you accept? Oh. A various translator Yusuf Ali or okay this is Yusuf Ali anyway as long as you are asking for Yusuf Ali this is Yusuf Ali have fun okay Yusuf Ali is saying let me be sure that this Yusuf Ali uh, this is Hali Khan actually let us go to Yusuf Ali just to be sure no that no you is... can do your translation I no I no no problem. no I will do it as you wish show me one one person agree with you otherwise you are lying to us just to cover the mistake in the Quran the horrible mistake in the Quran Yes, horrible mistake. You are the one saying that this is a that, that, so you agreed. You agreed. First of all, you it's you. You agreed that the father of Mary is not um, uh, no, uh, is that, not the father of Mary you, is you not Amran. Listen, listen. Women of England. Listen. Did you agree with me it or not that the father of Mary, the real father of Mary, is not Amran? Did you agree with me or not? Yeah, I agree. Okay. So how the Quran here says that this is her father. His name is Amran. No, oh, look at the Yusuf Ali translation. It says, My that friend, this is Yusuf Ali translation. This is Yusuf Ali translation. It says, Behold, oh, the women of uh, of Imran, the women of Imran said, Oh, my Lord, I dictate him to thee. It doesn't say that wife of Imran. It says that. It says, The women of Imran. Who is the women of Imran? My woman is my wife, my friend. Actually, you know the interpretation my friend i showed you the interpretation okay this is my challenge to you show me one interpretation i agree with your statement that Amran is not the father of maryam the mother of jesus can you show me one interpretation i agree with you challenge you know what i will shave my i will shave, I will, I will shave my 20 foot beard if you can show me one interpretation do so say that yeah it's a challenge here we go no, 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 it's a challenge. Okay. Here we go. You are my hero. I showed you the first interpretation. You know what? Let I'm willing to show you. I'm willing to show you as many interpretation as you wish. What do you think about that? I will open for you an Islamic website. Have all the interpretation you can imagine in the Islamic library. Let me talk. Let me talk. No, you I have can... to give me interpretation. Agree with your lies. Yeah, Otherwise, yeah, I... you have to say I was lying to you. That doesn't say that. I'm fabricator. I fabricate things. Yeah. Okay. And this is a habit for us okay. as a Muslim. So either you say, either you say okay, okay, I'm fabricating, thanks. either you say I'm a fabricator like my prophet Muhammad, or you have to tell me the interpretation would you say, because you are the one who mentioned that you did read okay. that in the interpretation of Ibn Kathir. We open Ibn Kathir, we could not find that. Ibn Kathir says clearly that this is the wife of Amran. Quran says that. Uh, Imran give, me, the... give me the interpretation. Stop playing games. What interpretation, what, okay. in, what, what, what interpretation you want to give me, my friend? I, I have only one interpretation. Which one? About that. Which one? Which one? Which one? Of which one? Which one? Which one? Okay, where is the interpretation coming from? What is the name of the interpretation? No, there is no, interp there is no interpretation about. So you are lying to us. No, there is interpretation. Here but we go. All of them. Here we go. This is Tafsir al Jalalain. Read everybody and laugh at this guy, the liar, who he think he have knowledge, trying to cover the big mistake in the Quran. Because the Miriam, there's a true story, by the way. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just to show you how stupid your, your, your prophet. You're a prophet. He heard from the Jews that Aaron, he have a sister. Her name is Miriam. And this is correct. 
in the Old Testament, there is a woman. Her name is Maryam. She is the sister of Moses and sister of Aaron. So Muhammad the fool, he thought that this is the same the same woman. He thought that Maryam is the daughter of Omran and she is the sister of Aaron. So he 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 attached Mary to Omran, which is the father, yeah. which is which you is the right. father of Moses. At this point, now read yeah, me, yeah. read at me. This, point, this is right. a Jalalain. This is a Jalalain. Listen, listen, listen. You're right at this. Point. Okay, I, I'm right at, at this point or not? Because in the seventh century, sixth uh, and seventh. My friend, don't Muslims tell me seven centuries. Died. I'm not talking about even the sister of Aaron. I'm talking about how Mary she became the daughter of Amran. In the front of you, this is the seer at Jalalain. Tafsir al Jalalain. Mentioning when the wife. The, read, 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 read. This is a Jalalain. Yeah, the wife of Imran. Okay. The, yeah, the wife of Imran. Okay. okay now the wife of Imran. She is the mother of Jesus. Okay. I want to ask you how this mistake happened. How the father of uh, of Moses became the husband of the of the mother of Mary. Okay. okay. Actually, uh, the apostles of Prophet Muhammad, Sallallahu mm -hmm. they denied the history that. Mary, the father of Virgin Mary, was not Joachim but Imran. They made up this history, so I have to. They made up history. So you are saying to me that the disciple of Muhammad, you are saying the apostle of Muhammad, they are a bunch of liars. You are saying. Maybe there is a bunch of hadiths about like apostles. But my friend, this is Quran. What's wrong with you? It says, Imran." The one who is Allah is talking is not. It's not even Muhammad supposedly. Allah saying the women of Imran, she said the, the women of Imran, who is he? Who is she? She is the mother of Jesus uh, of, of Maryam. So why you keep saying to me, maybe the disciple will lie. So look what you did. You just agreed, you just agreed that Muhammad companion, they are a bunch of liars, and maybe they fabricate that in the hadith. But by doing that, you prove that this is absolutely false because Islam is false, because the Quran is the one saying that, not the disciples of Muhammad. Actually, they misinterpreted the Quran. My friend, the Quran saying the women of Imran. You give me an interpretation. It says the women of Imran. Since when, if somebody says the women of Imran, he didn't mean that she is the women of Imran. The guy, he cannot have kids. The story is there. And his wife, she said, I'm going to designate this child will come to me to be for you, God. Who is the one who did that? The women of Imran. You tell me what does that mean? The same thing, it, it is a Semitic language that Jesus said, the son of David, my friend, this son of the, David, the son, of, son of David, my friend, because by birth, Jesus, he goes all the way to David, Mary, she have nothing to do with Musa, she is not going all the way to David, they are from different tribe, even in this case, it doesn't work, didn't you read that they, are not, they are not, they are not from the same, in gospel of Luke, listen, they are not gospel from the same Luke. tribe, listen, listen, I'm going to give you a chance, so this is a mistake, I'm going to ask you, yeah. Can you give me one thing to prove to me it's time to be true? Yeah, the prophecy of Prophet Muhammad. He, like what? This is the biggest. The I mean, in Surah Seven, verse one fifty-seven, it claims that Prophet Muhammad is mentioned in the Torah and Injil. This is the prophecy of Muhammad. Chap I mean, the prophecy about Prophet chapter. Muhammad. No, no, no. Um, give me, give me. First of all, that is a funny of you to say because the Quran says that uh, the, uh, Jesus will say, Isa will say, there's a prophet who comes after me. His name is Ahmed, correct? Yeah. Okay. What is the name of your prophet? I'm not referring to that because the, we know that I'm was fabricated. You, what is the name so, of your prophet? What is the name of your prophet? Muhammad Ahmed. So his name oh. is Muhammad or Ahmed? Is Ahmed is a name or a title? Is Muhammad a name or a title? Name and also title. Okay, so how we have many names? What does that mean? Did his mom she call him Ahmad or call him Muhammad? Both. We do not call him actually Ahmad. Uh -huh. But so why Muhammad. he is saying that he why he called him Ahmad? What does that mean? To relate to that Paracletos, like Paracletos in the John Paracletos is a spirit. Is Muhammad a spirit? The Paracletus will stay with us forever. He will never die. And he is a spirit. Is your prophet a spirit? Yeah, Prophet Muhammad spirit. Spirits don't die. Spirit. They either go to heaven or So Muhammad hell. is a spirit. He is not a human. He is a spirit and also a flesh. Huh? Okay, so the there it says that this is a Ruhul Qudus. He is the spirit. And then are you saying to me that Muhammad is the Holy Spirit? 
No, he is not the Holy Spirit. Well, you are quoting Holy for Spirit. me a verse saying this is the yes, Holy Spirit because the, because they are the verses you are quoting for me is about the Holy Spirit. So it have to be holy. It have to be spirit. Now, is your prophet holy? Yes. How then come? He's Holy Spirit. Then how he come? Okay, I want you to read this Holy for me. Then okay, hold on. As long as the Prophet Muhammad is holy, how come the Quran says, "May Allah forgive your past sin and the one to come"? Yeah. Okay. What do you mean, yeah? How Allah will forgive the past sin of somebody who have no sinner, no, no sin? You just said he is not a sinner. Is he a sinner? No, I didn't say once is, that. Is he, he a sinner or he is not? Is he a sinner or not? Yeah, he's kind of so how you call him holy? Like I mean how you are a sinner and you are holy. I mean are you crazy people the second you call him holy? It's mean he have no sin Sin sinner doesn't mean that he has to be unholy all the time because ah, so Muhammad temporarily him. holy Muhammad is sometime holy sometime filthy He was a man he so why you call him holy because Allah forgave. But what do you mean forgive? Verse. But it says in the past and the one in the, it doesn't say even Allah, it says forgive. It says may Allah forgive. How Allah is God? He says me. Secondly, it says the one in the past and the one to come. So how he is holy, but he would do a, he did in the past and he would do to come. Prophet Muhammad suffered in his life very severely. This is not the question. I suffered too. I suffered too, my friend. Punishment was what this had, what this have to do with my topic? All people suffer. Have you ever heard a human being don't suffer? Stop playing playing games. I'm asking you now. How he is holy, yet he commits sin in the past, and he will commit okay, sin okay. in the future. That, so, Christian concept of holy is sinless. That is Jesus. But in most Islamic concepts, all the prophets were holy. So is so Allah holy? It. Is Allah holy the same as Muhammad? He's sometimes no, sinner? no, no. no. No, no. Then you cannot use the word holy. Yeah, I can. Choose, okay, can you show me one 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 statement in the Quran where it says Muhammad was holy? No, I'm not a Hafiz, but I am sure there is. No, there is not. not and here we go. I just showed you this, the opposite. Yeah. It says okay. Listen, listen. I'm going to go back to zero. All what okay. you said to me, it turned to be false and stupid, and people are laughing. So I'm going to give you a chance. I will repeat my question. Can you give me something, one thing, prove that Allah is God and Muhammad is a prophet? Anything, choose of your, choose the best. Can you prove to me in any way? Yeah, I can give you many. Give me one, give me one for now. Give me one, one by one. <laughs> like in Isaiah 42. Uh, don't give me the Bible. Do you, do you Muslims agree with the Bible? Yeah, some part I have to agree. Oh, uh, sometime. Okay, what Isaiah said? What Isaiah? Isaiah 42. Isaiah prophesied about Prophet Muhammad. Isaiah 42. So okay. Uh, what, what Isaiah 42 is saying? Read for us. Uh, uh, okay, read for us Isaiah 42. What Isaiah 42 says? Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one hmm. in whom I delight. Hmm. I will put my spirit on him and he will bring justice to the nations. Hmm. So he, in the first two verses, no, read, read, says, read, continue, please. continue reading because you will see that people will laugh at you in two seconds. Read, continue reading. Yeah. Or only, or those only the only two verses you copy from the website. Okay. He will not shout or cry out or raise his okay. voice. Okay. Muhammad shout face. Allahu Akbar and when he attack his enemies? Yeah. Okay. But that doesn't. Mean All right. Continue. That. Continue the verse after it. A bruised reed. He will not break. And a smoldering wick, okay. he will did not Muhammad, slough did, out. Did Muhammad cut a trees and burn them? But he saved also. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. See, we are going, but you are saying this one is about him, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. First yeah. of all, first of all, first, first, of, first of all, first, first of all, first of all, first, first of all, do you agree that Muhammad burned trees and cut a trees of those who he hate? Yes or no? For cooking, yes, obviously. Not for, for cooking, cooking, but cooking. What this was? What this cooking? What does this have to do with cooking? He is just doing that as revenge. Yes or no? Yes, he used trees. No, read palm. carefully. Ibn Umar narrated the messenger of Allah burned the palm trees of Bani Nudair and he cut it down. The verse you quote for me, it says he will not even cut a branch of a tree, correct? Yeah. All right. 
You have to understand this is prophetic, but this is versus not no problem. No problem. Okay. Now the prophet. No, the, I am highlighting. Hold, hold on. You are highlighting for me how 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 silly it is. Yeah. Now let me ask you. In Isaiah number forty-two, does it say uh, something about the spirit? Yeah. Okay. Do Allah have a spirit? I will, I will put my spirit on him. Okay. Do Allah have a spirit? Yes. Obviously. Where where you get this from? Where Allah, the spirit is Allah, eternal. Allah has, no, is, Allah has no spirit. Allah is not a spirit, and He has no spirit. Don't you know that? Yeah, Allah has a spirit. Where do you get this from? You know what? I will shave my 100 foot beard. It's growing now. If you can show me one Islamic scholar or teaching, I agree with you that Allah has a spirit. That's why Allah breathed that spirit. Don't tell Adam. me. Don't tell me. That's why. Show me where you get this from. Show me where Allah. Where you get this from that Allah has a spirit according as I know any Muslim who believe that Allah has a spirit is not a Muslim Yeah, obviously Allah has a spirit where obviously you are saying to me obviously where you get this from In the Quran Everywhere it says that show me Allah one. has a spirit. show me one where it and says Allah, Allah has a spirit. spirit No problem. No problem. See, I'm, not, I'm not against you my friend. I'm just uh, trying to to uh, 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 To learn from you how you Muslims understand yeah, your false I, God? I remember okay. so, in Surah Insan, it says that Allah breathed his spirit to Adam. Thank you very much. And also, guys, Allah, he breathed. Uh, okay. Allah, he breathed his spirit into Adam. Did you say that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, this let me is ask you. So how you Muslim, you say that Allah has no spirit? If For I show sure, you right yeah. now, if I show you yeah. that all Muslims agree, that Allah has no spirit and he is not a spirit what you would do no there is a difference between Allah is a spirit and Allah has no spirit okay so I'm asking you no Allah has no spirit neither he is a spirit this is what I'm saying both of them the Quran is saying that Allah breathed his spirit well this is this is not this is what Islam teaching Allah Islam is, is a book of contradiction that's what I'm saying so do Allah has a spirit or not no actually you are separating my Allah friend, I am not like separating. Here we go. This is your Islamic fatwa website. Fatwa number five zero seven seven four. It says he Look, he Islamic is debating. Listen, 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 listen. Can. He is debating with the Christians, asking, "Does God have a spirit?" Oh, okay. Now I get it. Okay. So now what, I get it. What the because answer? Because they try to deny, like, like this complexity in the Quran Tawheed. Okay, let That's me ask right. you. So Allah, he has a spirit. Is Allah one or two now? One. Okay, how is one but he have a spirit? Allah is the same as the spirit or the so spirit is different person? We are not, because we are not separating the spirit from Allah. No spirit problem. Is so, inside of but, but you said Allah, he has a spirit. That's mean it's additional to Allah. So Allah and his spirit, correct? Or Allah is a spirit? Allah and his spirit. Okay. That's why it is Isaiah 42. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Guys, did you hear this? This is very important what this uh, 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 gentleman said. He said Allah and it's his... It's plainly in the Quran. S you me, didn't me, uh, read any friend, translation. This is in the Quran. Let, let me explain what, all what, over what, in the let Quran. Let me explain what you said. Allah, let us type in, uh, in different colors so people can see in the screen. And you then you explain to us more so because people, they are really happy from what you are saying. Especially me, I'm very happy with you. Thank you for calling me. So Allah and His Spirit. This is what you said. Do you agree? Oh, you are highlighting that and like they are two separate beings. My like, friend. Don't, okay. Don't do that. Then, then is Allah is a, is Allah is a spirit? You said no. No. Okay. So that means it's two. As long as you are saying Allah is not the spirit, that's mean Allah and His spirit. Like I have, a, I have a spirit. That doesn't mean I. My friend, don't stop playing I, games. Okay, I just say to you: either you say yes, yes, or no, no. Is Allah is a spirit? Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. He's a spirit. Yeah, that's what the Quran says, and also in Isaiah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. A second ago, you said to me, Allah is not a spirit. What happened? Allah is not a spirit. Allah has. Okay, a... so Allah, He is not a spirit. Allah, He has a spirit. As long as it's yeah. not, Allah is not a spirit, so we cannot consider them one. They have to be two percent at least. Yeah, 
maybe one God, yes, but not one person because you are the one no, who we said do to not me, highlight that persons like two persons. Okay, two when persons, you say Allah, on Allah, He has a spirit, and I asked you, you said Allah is yeah, not yeah. that spirit. Yes. Allah is not Allah that is spirit. Not. So, how many person we have? I do not actually. I do not want to go to that person who like. Why you don't go? Sheep. How come you want to go to Christianity about it's Allah being sheep. one? Oh, no, no, don't, 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 don't play games. So is Allah is the same spirit? You said no. So now we have a spirit, and we have Allah. Are they one person or two person? I do not understand this person. Why are you bringing that person? You are the one who wrote it. I asked you because you mentioned person. Isaiah. Isaiah says that God is spirit. God is spirit. Listen, okay. okay, so God Listen, is spirit. Is I, this is why I asked you? Do your God, Allah, has a spirit. You said uh, He has a spirit, but yes. He is not a spirit. My God, Listen, my God is a spirit. My God is a spirit. So, so listen, listen. So when you Muslim, you copy the Bible and you are claiming that you have knowledge in the Bible. Did you ever no see? Let me ask you: Bible. Have you ever yes. heard? Have you ever heard of verses in the Bible saying that God is a spirit? Yeah, John four twenty four. I know. Okay, that. God is a spirit. So how Allah is not a spirit? So obviously the God of the Bible is not the same as the God of Islam. I do not believe that. The this is not a You are right? the one who's quoting for me the Bible. As long as you are quoting the Bible, you have to believe in I what in the Bible. Me. Okay. So I am not quoting. Okay, let us go. No. So what you are saying to me, Isaiah, speaking about him, you quote for me a verse. You believe in it? Did you believe in it? You said you believe in something. Agree. So Isaiah forty-two it says God, spirit. Yeah, yeah. This is a, my okay, so this is the he spirit said, of God. This is God Himself. If you go from the book of Gen from the beginning, it says God He created the whole earth and the heaven. And then what happened? That God he, His spirit this, was above the water, above the surface. So look, Allah, God, uh, your God Allah, your God Allah is not a spirit, and He, according to you, He have a spirit. But Muslims they say no, which is absolutely you have a different religion now. I don't Which know what Muslims say that Allah doesn't have his spirit. Here we go. He's Here, we go. The Here we go. Here we go. I'm not the one who's making things up. Here we go. It says that the spirit is or a soul is not one of the attributes of Allah. Rather, it is one of the things that have been created by Allah. Do you see it? No, it, then if this fatwa is actually not true because Allah cannot okay, show me a Adam fatwa, agree, show, okay me. show me one Muslim in the world agree with you that Allah has a spirit because we Muslims do not talk about this not kind only of because no you talk you talk no you talk you have tons of books and you, you know the al Khomeini he says the Muslim Sunni they have the biggest library of bathroom because all of your books speaking about the the, the, the but, private part and down. so listen I want you to don't tell me we don't have you don't talk you know you talk I, can you show me one person in the whole Islamic uh, cult agree with you that Allah has a spirit? Okay, every Muslims will agree with me if there is no Christian because if we say in front of no, Christians, you Muslim don't like, agree with the Muslim. Allah I'm not asking you agree with the Christian now. I'm asking you if there is one Muslim what agree with you me? as a Muslim, you 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 yeah. as a Muslim. Yeah. If there is one Muslim yeah. agree yeah. with you as a Muslim that Allah has a spirit, can you show me the name of the scholar? Everyone will agree with me because, but they will not. Nobody agree with you. You are a liar. So you are saying to me that the Muslims don't agree. They, they okay, agree with no, you, but they, they will not agree in front of a Christian because <laughs> ah, a Christian they will. Be Muslims have Muslims have two faces. In front of me, they will not agree, but in in the backyard they will agree. So you are a bunch of liars then. This is not lying. This is taqiyya. You know nothing ah, about. Ah, taqiyya. What taqiyya? Explain to me. What is taqiyya? Like we can tell lies. Okay, so you are lying about okay, guys. Listen carefully. So, you are saying to me, you as a Muslim, you are allowed to lie about your God to me as a Christian. You lie about your God. So, you say to me, He have a He has a spirit. Lie about yeah, you are lying to me. You said you lie, you are allowed to lie to me. You are allowed to lie to me about your God. I'm asking about your God. Like, if you just uh, if you just take and put a hidden camera in a mosque and then uh, send a Muslim to ask about the spirit of Allah, yeah, they will explain this very plainly. But in front of Christians, we do not use this type of terms. That's why Muslims, okay. they so have in the to mosque, deny. So you are saying to me that we Muslims, we have double standard, two faces. 
not double standard. The, you are completely misunderstanding. My friend, aren't you the one who said to me we lie? Okay, listen. Aren't you the one who says to me we use taqiyya and we lie? We are allowed to lie. Did you say that word or me? Paul also used taqiyya. Okay, you are criticizing I'm asking you, did you say we are allowed to lie? Did you say that or I'm, I'm, I'm making things up? Yeah, this is okay. all over so the Quran. You are I lying guess. to me all over the Quran, guys. Did you say it all over the Quran? So you are saying to me that we Muslims, when we talk to each other, we have different answers from the one we give it to the Christians because when we talk to the Christians, we lie to them, correct? Yeah, but this doesn't consider as a lie. Ah, okay, no problem, guys. He lied to us, but this is not considered as a lie because Allah, he encouraged them to lie to us. I mean, do you see how amazing this religion is? So Allah, He encouraged the Muslim to lie to Christians this when the not when, my a, point. when a Christian. My point is, I said for two no, listen, listen, listen. Muhammad. So you you just said that when I ask you about Islam, you are allowed to lie to me because Allah encouraged you to lie to me because it's not considered to you as a lie. This but yet you are lying. lying. This is not in my religion. This is not lying. My, my friend, but you are the one who says to me, we are allowed to lie. So you are saying, according to Allah, is not a lie to lie, correct? Yeah, obviously. Okay, thank you. you. Know from hear this. Thank you very I'm much. I'm not making this up. Okay, so so now any question I ask you, you are allowed to lie to me when you give me the answer. I'm not lying to you now. No, 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 you no. Know that I'm How I know you are? You are the one who just said to me, "We are Muslims. We are we are allowed to do this to you, and Allah does not even consider it as a lie. What you what he allow he allowed to lie. So you are saying to me, obviously, we have to establish the truth. <laughs> Okay, Obviously. but how you can establish the truth if you just said to me that we Muslims we are allowed to lie to we the Christians? Will use plain, we will use plain language, but like there is only one. This God, is not what you say. No, you said to me. You, no, you said to me. We, you know, we are allowed to lie, and we, this is why the Muslims. Yeah, they we not are allowed to lie. Okay. If you, if so, you just do so not, now, if I ask you, okay, yes, if, if I ask you, if I ask you any question about your God, and I'm asking you about your God, you are allowed to lie to me. So how we will find the truth? I'm not lying to you. Okay, you know you it. did. You did. You did. You said to me that Allah has a spirit. I said to you, they give me one Muslim and agree with you. You said to me that uh, uh, they will the not. Quran agrees with me. Huh? The, our prophet agrees with us. The Quran agrees with me. The Quran. Agree, okay. Okay. So, uh, but you said Allah has a has a spirit, but he is not a spirit. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Allah so I ask you. Being. So listen, listen. So is Allah is a being and the spirit is a being, or it is one being? No, 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 no. one being. Okay, but I, but I asked you, is Allah is a spirit? You said no. Yeah. So how he can be one being if he is not the spirit? Because if he is the spirit, how can he sent the spirit? How can he breathe that spirit? Okay, guys, he, if he is the spirit, how you answer me, don't tell me, don't ask me the question. I'm asking you if you are saying to me, Allah has the spirit and Allah is not the spirit. Okay, so is the spirit created? Is the spirit of Allah created? Allah can create that spirit. And this is not the question. This is not the question. The spirit of Allah. No, no, spirit. The Quran doesn't say anything that I'm asking you, you, you. It's your belief, it's your religion. No, you no, no. This would be a blasphemy to say that. To say what? Spirit is created. Okay. So the spirit of Allah isn't created. Is Allah created? No. Okay. Allah so now we have. So now we have two it? and a created. So we have two and a created being. And the spirit is not Allah. And Allah is not the Listen, spirit. As long as Allah exists. The spirit exists. This so is not the question. This spirit. is not the question. Are they both created or they are not created? You are saying no. No, 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 no. Eternal. They are the spirit and Allah. Okay. Allah's so now let us, Allah. let us let us do this. We have Allah is not a created Allah. Let us yes. let us let us, let us uh, type it here in the screen so people they will follow with us. So Allah plus the spirit. Anything else is not a created why are, Islam. Why are you writing plus? Because is, they are not one person. You are the one who said to me. Why? I, I asked you, is Allah the spirit? You said no. You should write capital S. This is an insult to the spirit. You later, you can change it, fix it for me. For now. So if there is anything else beside Allah and the spirit are not created. Yeah. What is that? No, we do not think like that. I'm asking you if there is something else beside Allah and the Spirit are not created. What? Is that the Quran? What about the Quran? 
Quran is eternal and it Thank is you very preserved much. in the Quran is not a creator. So look what we have now. We have a three, three separated, and yet they are not created. How that can be? Allah, the Spirit, and His Word. They are not one. Not only Quran, but also the Torah. The no word, problem. The okay, the word, word the word of Allah. The word of Allah. No problem. The word of Allah. Okay, the word of Allah is not a creator. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay. Isn't it Jesus the word of Allah? Mm, yeah, but he. Okay, but you just I said mean, the word of Allah is the created. Everybody heard you. No, but you are misrepresenting My the friend, word. Isn't of it Jesus. you? No, isn't it you who said to me the word of Allah is not created? Did you say that? Or no, what? no. Jesus was not the word of Allah. He is a word of Allah. No, my friend. No, he is the word of Allah. I read in the Quran. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you are saying to me he is a word, he is not the word? Yes. Okay, but isn't it the word of Allah? Is the word of Allah anyway? Yeah. Okay, so Jesus is the word of Allah anyway. Is not a created. Jesus was created by the word. Hold on. No, he was the word. He wasn't created by the word. He is the word. How he is created by the word. Where it says that? It says that the Messiah is the word of God, which bestowed in Mary, and he is a messenger, and he is a spirit proceeding from him. And you are the one who said to me, you like uh, Yusuf Ali translation. So he is the word of God before he became a man, correct? Yeah, before okay. Jesus' body so is not. When Jesus was the word of God, he was created or not? There is no such thing as a concept that Jesus was eternal. This Quran is not the question. Says this is not the question. Was Jesus was the word. At that moment, who created the word? No one created the word. So, the word is so, Allah, so Allah cannot be the one who created Jesus because that word was Jesus. The Quran says so. But we Muslims do not don't believe tell me but, that because the don't Quran... but me. Listen, he was the word, and you agreed, and you agreed to that the word of Allah never been created. So Jesus was the word, so he is exist by himself, have nothing to do with Allah. So Jesus previously for his appearance Jesus, to us. Jesus came in the womb of Mary. No problem. This is when he is born as a human being. But before he became a human, he was what? He was the word. Do you agree? The word of the word of Allah. Yeah. Thank you very much. And you agree that the word of Allah is not created. Do you agree? Yeah, the Quran doesn't so say that the, the Messiah word was was the any created before he listen, was you born. Are now look listen, at this. Okay, let, 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 but focus me. So Allah plus the Spirit plus the Quran, three of them, three are not created. Who is the oh, one? No, not Quran. The word. The word. No problem, word. The, guys. The word. The word. Okay. So Allah, I will change it for you just to make you happy. Okay. Allah and the word are and the Spirit of Allah are not created. Do you agree not with that? Singular, not plural. You are using plural pronoun. Doesn't matter. Allah and the Spirit and the Word are not created. Yes. Okay. So they are equal, are they? Equal in what sense? Because they are not created. Yeah, they are equal in creation. Like in the creation of Adam, it was both the word of God no, 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 and no, no, the spirit no, no. of God. The word itself yeah, is yeah. not created. The word of uh, itself. No, no, created. the word itself is not created. The word itself is the creator of Adam. Thank uh, you. Look, when so Allah the creator of that, Adam is the word, is not Allah. Yeah, Allah, word and spirit. I okay. like. But you Allah is not the one. Okay, but Allah is not the one who created the word. Correct. No, okay. the word so is eternal. The creator, you just said, and very important thing, you just said, that the creator, we will put the letter C next to it, is the word, not Allah, because the creation happened by the word, not by Allah. And the word itself is not created by Allah. So the word itself is God by itself, for it can create and do not need neither the spirit of Allah or Allah himself. 
We do not say the word is God. We say the word. I don't is care God. what you say, but your philosophy proving that because as long you are saying to me that the word is exists by itself and never been created, that means there is Allah or there is no Allah. It doesn't matter. The word itself is God, for God is the word, and the word is God. Who is the one who created Adam? You said to me, the word. Okay. Who created the word? the word? Allah, the word, Allah through his word and spirit. My friend, how do you say how you say his word when the word is not from him, is not created by him? How this is his word? Allah's word. Okay, but how this is his word if it's not created by him? No, I'm not saying uh, the word is created by Allah. It okay, exists this is what I'm saying. Within if this Allah, is not the word of, the Allah, of Allah. Okay, if this word is not created by Allah, so how you say his? Because the word belongs to Allah. How it belong to Allah if it's not created by Allah? Because everything is created by the word. Allah cannot. Create this is not a question. The word the itself is not this created is by Allah. Cannot, My friend, focus, Allah, focus. Allah, breathe, breathe. Okay, if you say to me, let us say, let us make it something physical. Okay, if you say my phone, you say my phone. Okay, and this yeah. phone is not made by me. Okay, if I ask you now, is this word owned by Allah as a property or it is independent and it exists by itself? Is it owned by Allah? No, we do not say that. Thank owned you. By Allah. So it's not say owned it by is. Allah, guys. Take one, it's not owned by Allah. Okay, is it created by Allah? No, so Allah has nothing to do with it. Yeah, obviously. Listen, as long as Allah friend, exists, you just the word said it's not owned by Allah, it is not created by Allah. So, what it have to do with Allah? Nothing. You are actually just uh, you are going too deep and philosophical. Uh -huh. actually, so, Islam is a stupid cult. The second you go deep, Islam go. Go mult, Islam. Go, go, go bold. Lose all the hair why? and get but naked. This is why you are trying to get away from it. So the second we go deep in Islam, we find Islam is a stupid. Now we can, because now we have a three divine. We have the word which is not created. We have the spirit which is not created, and we have Allah which is not created. So you yeah. Muslims, you believe in the Trinity. Allah, listen, okay. Allah now listen. Don't tell me listen. Listen. How you say earth. three and a created, but the, you are claiming that you worship one God, and the one who created you is the word, not even Allah. So you should worship the word. How can you worship the word? Well, is I it mean, the one? Is it the word? Okay. Oh, hold, hold on. Is it the, I, I, let the me, word? Let me explain to you how you can worship the word. Because according to your logic, that the one who created everything is the word. That means Allah is not the creator, and the word itself is not created by Allah. So Allah is just individual, exists by Himself, no problem. The spirit exists by itself, no problem. And the word exists by itself, no problem. But the only one who created anything, according to your belief, is the word. You can, okay, if you worship, if you want to worship the word, you are actually worshiping Allah. Okay, my friend, I, 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 I oh. cannot stay longer. Okay, you can call me maybe next time, we all will come. Uh, but as you see, guys, this is how silly this cult. But this gentleman, he said many things important that Muslims, we are allowed to lie to you. And this is why you Christian, you should be very careful when you listen to Muslims. The, the, he said clearly, with a clear words, I hope everybody will cut this conversation and post it everywhere, that we Muslims are allowed to lie to you and this is not considered Islam as a lie. So everything he says to me now, it's possible to be just a lie trying to defend because he just said that. And now we, when we get deep, he don't want to go deep. Why? Because deep will in, will in, like will show you right away how silly this cult. As long as you don't go in details, it's fine. It's okay. You know, Allah is God. But if you go in details, you will see that Allah is no one. He did not even create His words, and the Word is the one who is the Creator, and Allah, according to Him, He is a spirit. But by the way, according to Islam, Allah has no spirit. This is a lie. So this is either a mistake from Him or a lie. Either it's a lie to defend. Just to make Isaiah look fit with Muhammad, just to make it a propaganda thing, or he is telling the truth, and that's mean he believes it truly that Allah has, has a spirit. But either way, that is will prove in Islam to be false. Look, because now we have a three uncreated divine, eternal. What is the eternal mean? The one is exist by itself. Those are exist by themselves. Allah plus the spirit plus the word. Where the word is coming from? Not from Allah. Where the spirit is coming from? Not from Allah. Neither of them is coming from anyone. 
That's mean there are three separated divine, not one. Not like in Christianity, we say three person, one God. In Islam, they have a three person and they are totally separated. So when a Muslim, he says that the word is the word of Allah, that is a stupid to say, because as you see, the word has nothing to do with Allah. It's not created by Allah. It exists before, without Allah exists, or is it, Allah exists or not, the word is, is there. So how you say this is the word of Allah? So it's very easy to prove Islam to be funny and a stupid cult. Just ask some deep questions. And you know, I was trying to give him a chance uh, uh, to give me one, you know what? I'm going to give you one, one more call because I have to go. You know, I have things to do. But maybe I will give him one more call because each time I say to him, can you give me one thing to prove Muhammad to be a prophet? Look what he do. He go and say, I will show you from Isaiah. I will show you, uh, G, uh, the Quran says, uh, Jesus said. Should I call him maybe or, or leave it for tomorrow? Maybe maybe tomorrow. You can call me tomorrow, Mr. Khan. As long as you are here, subscribe to our channel. And maybe you can think about something very powerful next time you call me. And show me one proof that Muhammad is a prophet of God. But you know what? I'm going to give you one more chance. I will call you. I can't resist the temptation. <clears throat> Khan. Hello. Yeah, my friend, I don't have really much time left to talk to you, but I want to ask you one more thing just to give you a chance to prove to me it's time to be true. Can you give me one thing, prove to those Christians? I want to ask you one. Mute YouTube, please. Mute YouTube. Okay, okay. Yeah. I did. It. Can you give me one thing solid, something solid? Have nothing to do with the Christians say, the Bible says, something have to do with Islam. How you can prove to me that Allah is God or Muhammad is a prophet? Choose anything, but choose something very strong. The scientific miracles in the Quran. Like what? Give me one. Like Quran mentions the Big Bang. Where, where in the Big Bang it says in the Quran? In Surah Anbiya chapter 30. Okay, read it for us, please. Okay, wait. Like, like this is undisputable. You can deny that. Mm, no problem. Nobody can deny it. Correct. Yeah. So, guys, Mr. Khan, he is going to show us the Big Bang in the Quran. I have it in the screen. You can look at the yeah. screen. Okay. Okay. Can I read it? Go ahead. Have not those who disbelieve known that the heavens and earth were joined together as one united piece, hmm. and then we parted them? Hmm. Here's the big bang, and when we have what, made what is, from what water, is, well, how, how is that? Is the big bang? I don't understand. What is the big bang said? like all matter were joined together no one no, it single, doesn't say that no, it doesn't say that no it says that nothing was there the big band explosion, ha explosion yeah, happened but there's nothing there was no earth there was no heaven correct no this is poetic so i'm asking you i'm asking earth. you when before the big bang there was there was a sky and space and earth or no 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 nothing okay. nothing nothing but here it says the opposite it says here don't the believer don't the disbelievers know or see actually alam yara in arabic it says yara don't they see that the heaven and the earth were joined together so there was heaven and there was earth and allah he separated them from each other yes okay but this is stupid because this is we are not separated from the heaven we are inside the heaven isn't it the earth is swimming in the space like a dust No, Quran is saying that the earth and heaven, these two are separated. My friend, there was there was earth and there was heaven. The verse is so clear. And we can show you the interpretation of Ibn Kathir if you want. So there was earth and there was heaven. And then Allah, he left up the heaven from the earth. That's what it says. Do you agree with that or you agree with the Big Bang? No, I agree with Big Bang. But this is against the Big Bang because it says there is earth and there is heaven. And Allah, he left up the heaven. Don't you know that the Quran says that Allah He made the yeah, sky? Yeah, Allah say, yeah, Allah created in six periods and then Allah ascended up what, to heaven. What six period? Where where in the Quran six period? I mean six periods or six days. 
if you no, it that. says six days. Now let us see. Does it say? Or does it say in the chapter fifty-two that Allah He left up the sky? He left yeah, up yeah, the sky. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Okay, Allah left the sky up from where? From the earth. Okay, that's mean the earth and the sky. They were attached together and Allah separated them. Is that accurate? Yeah. How is that accurate? We are inside the yeah, space. Yeah, this is what the what you the heavens you mean? and the earth. What do you mean? No, we're joined together. Okay, but you see, but this is not what the Big Bang saying. The Big Bang saying that we are now, according to this is a theory, by the way. The Big Bang is not a scientific fact; it's a theory, and we as a Christian are rejected. Yeah. Only for uh, uh, if you if you if I ask you right now, which one Allah created first, the Earth or the sky? He created simultaneously everything. Where it says that. Right. <clears throat> That verse it says that Allah created those two were joined together and Allah separated. No, where is no? This doesn't say it's, it's at the same time. It says this is about separating them. Where it's mentioned the creation, which one created first? Well, I do not remember that verse, but it says that Allah created on the first day, like you have. Which which uh, which, which verse? Which verse? Where? I do not remember that verse. I okay, let me remember, ask you. But I read According to the Big Bang, the stars was a crea uh, created before the Earth, or the Earth be long after the stars. No, the stars were created before, like some billions years before the Earth. Okay, so Earth came from the Sun. That's wonderful. So, guys, the stars came long after. I mean, the the, the Earth came long after the stars. You agree on that? According to yeah. you, okay, yeah, the big bang says that. All right, okay, thank you. So, here in the chapter 41, it says that the last thing Allah created after He finished the whole earth, it was the stars. Where chapter 41, read with me, you can read it from verse number nine. The first thing He created, He created the earth in two days, and then He placed in the top of them, in the top of the earth, rising mountains. And then he put in the in the earth all the sustenance, which means the water, the grass, the trees. And then after that, then after that, he turned to the heaven. And then it was a smoke. There was nothing empty. And then verse number 12, he made the heaven seven skies and he put lamps in those skies. So you are the one who's coming to me with the big bang. But according to Allah, the first to create it was the earth. And the last to create is the stars. What do you think? No, actually, the modern Muslims ap apologists they explain that Earth is not the Earth in the Quran. It is the matter. Ah, like matter. It's not. No, it is the Earth and the Quran, my friend. Here we go. You see, I got I got something more powerful than your apost. That was those who they are explaining to you, the liars who they are making articles these days. Because your Quran, your, your prophet, he spoke about that. Here we go. Not only, you said to me six period of time, right? Is, is it six period or six days? Yeah, yeah. Is it six? I believe it is six periods. Okay, so six days. Is, is six days is wrong? Is six days is wrong? Yeah, six days. Is, is like six days is wrong? Days. It's wrong. Okay, so guys, six days is wrong. Here we go. This is your prophet saying, Allah no, be excited. can mean... Huh? Periods also. No, no, no. No, 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 no. You said six days is wrong. You already you said that. Allah the excited the grace, created the clay on Saturday, and he created the mountains on Sunday. Huh? Okay. No, no, okay. Go on. Okay. I know this. So I what think. is the first thing Allah created? It was the clay. And then he created the mountains. And this is exactly what it says in the Quran. He created the earth in two days. And he put the mountains. And then he created whatever trees, etc. Read with me carefully. And then he says he created uh, the entire labor in Tuesday, created the light in Wednesday, and he caused the animals to spread in Tuesday. And he created Adam in a Friday afternoon. Not only it's a Friday, it's afternoon. Yeah, I know this. I know this hadith. And okay, do, I you, saw do you agree with this hadith or you don't? Actually, this is I have to say this is Sahih Hadith. Okay, so do you agree with it or uh, not? This I, is the question. Do you agree with it or not? Actually, I saw in a blog in Apple. Don't tell me I saw my friend. Just give me the answer. Do you agree with it or not? No, I have to disagree with. 
You have to disagree. Okay, but aren't you the one who said to me in the beginning that the Big Bang saying that the stars are created first and then the earth are created after? And then when yeah. we showed you that from the Quran, what you said that some Muslims they say that they're, it's talking about different earth. Where 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 do you get this from? The different earth, like matter, not different earth. The no, matter it says all... you see the Arabic is so clear. It says the mountains. It says what, what are you talking about? I mean, what matter? It says he no, created the earth in two days. Okay, where Allah he placed the mountains in this matter. The verse in the Quran so says, Allah, it, uh, my friend, Allah he placed so mountains in the top of where? In the top of the earth or in the top of the matter? Earth. Okay, so what you are saying it's a matter, not earth. That's why I'm saying that I have to disagree with this hadith, and many Muslims disagree with this but hadith. This is an agreement with this here. Okay, let me let me ask you. So Allah who created the earth first in the Quran and then the sky after doesn't matter what it is Doesn't matter what you are saying. It says in Arabic here clearly that Allah he made the mountains In the top of that earth and the word here in Arabic. It says Ard. So don't tell me matter Arabic is so clear Allah. He can use the, the word matter. right? Yeah, yeah. He can okay, say okay. So if you read as, the Surah Anbiya verse 30 it says earth Okay, I believe okay in that verse it was talking about matter, but in the next verse, it is talking about the description ah, of the earth. Ah, like, this verse is speaking about matter. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, but here it and says. The next verse. Okay, okay. So that matter have mountains Did, in didn't it. Didn't you listen, my to friend Zaki Naik? He also said, hey, "Brother, that. I die laughing at Zaki Naik every day. He is the most stupid idiot ever." What are you talking Zakir about? Okay, then, yes, that, the, he's an official stupid. Zakir Naik, you do not know anything about Islam. Can you tell me how Zakir Naik explained this to me? Go ahead. Zakir Naik said that uh, in Big Bang, the matter and space all were joined together hmm. and something happened. This is the power of Allah. Yeah. And that's why he said that. Okay, in but I ask you, but I ask you, hold on, hold on. You see, I will, I will go with Zakir Naik stupidity. Aren't you the one who said to me that the stars are exist before the earth? Yes, this okay. is what the big bang. So look, says. read with me carefully. The matter here is what is created is the matter. All right, in two days, is that correct? Yeah. Okay, and Allah He called it the earth. Yeah, this okay. is the description of the earth. How the matter is the earth? That's why I said that in Surah Twenty One, Surah Ambiya. In that verse, verse 30, it was talking about matter. And verse 31, My friend, where is the word matter earth. here? It says that the earth and the heaven. Does not say the, Does it say the word matter or says the word earth? Does it earth, say? Earth. No, it says same. earth. No, it says earth. Earth. Okay. Earth. So why you are lying saying this is it says matter? Because we have to interpret in the light of Big Bang. Ah, so now the holy book of Islam is the Big Bang. And the Quran have to fit with the Big Bang. So we change the Quran to make it fit, but the verse is so clear in front of us. It says, "Wajalna fiha rawasi," and then it says, "Read carefully with me." Who will let the خلق الليل والنهار والشمس والقمر? It is Allah who created them. I don't understand the... Arabic. Who? I don't understand Arabic. This I... is not my business. This is not my business. Okay, let me ask you. According to the Quran, did Allah created the matter first or the stars first? The stars were included in the matters. Uh huh. But the other verse saying the opposite. That's why I'm saying that in verse 30, the same word earth is using that is matter, and verse 31 okay. is talking about. I want you to give me the name earth. of the idiot who says that the word earth means matter. Can you give me his name? The scholar. No, no, no. It doesn't say that the earth means okay. matter. So all the scholars agree that, that this is the earth, this is nothing else. Okay, if you want to talk about the uh, scholars of that uh, Ibn Kathir or Zalalain, they did not have any concept of Big Bang. That's why they interpreted. Ah, uh, so when the Big Bang come, but, we may try make the micro Quran fit with the Big Bang. We forget about Ibn Kathir. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's some, good. That's a good thing, by the way, because now Muslims they are changing their book. Their holy book became the Big Bang of the atheists. Now, let me ask you. Okay. So, but but the Big Bang doesn't say that God created anything. It says an explosion. So, does the Quran says there's an explosion, or the verse you are saying to me? It says that Allah separated them. Separated what? The earth and the heaven. What the heaven means? No, we we do not believe that 
the natural cause of Big Bang that something happened. Just we believe in the divine. No problem. That Allah but isn't it, isn't it saying isn't it saying that Allah He separated the earth and the heaven? Correct or not? Yeah, yeah. Okay, is the earth separated from the heaven? You said to me, you are the one who said to me that the word earth means matter. Correct? Yes. Okay. By the Big Bang. Okay, is, hold on, verse, hold on. Everybody will die laughing at you. Is the big if the Big Bang is the matter which is explode? How it says that Allah separated the matter from the heavens? Is it the matter who became the is it the matter who became the heaven in the Big Bang? No, the if you what what is the Big Bang? Hold on, hold on. You see, you are very confused, kid. Let me ask you. Hold on, make it simple. Is it the Big Bang? Is based that the matter explode? There's a matter explode. Yeah, the explosion of okay. All so the when this matter explodes, this matter stay that is, is it is it is it staying the matter or it is became everything around us? No, from Big Bang, everything came out. All right, but here it says that the earth and the heaven, and it says not only that, it says don't the disbelievers see, which means something they see with their eyes, not something happened in the past. Don't they see that Allah separated the earth from the heaven? Does it say that in the verse? Yeah. Okay. So how this is about the Big Bang, something we never saw. If he said, don't you see? The, yeah, don't you see? That doesn't mean that uh, like Allah he is was talking to the Arab. At the, at, he was talking to the Arab at the seven centuries, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he how was they talking will, about How they will see that unless it is visual? Are you saying to me, Allah, he used the wrong word? How they will see? So, such a thing and this is poetic this is poetic in Quran it, it says that don't the disbelievers see that this is poetic hmm. this is what miracle of poetic the miracle of Allah what poetry I, I poetic. say to you don't you see I mean this is stupid if I say to you don't you see and something I cannot see that's stupid to say secondly it no, says here let, yeah, let me show you let, let me show you how stupid what you are saying my friend I feel sorry for you it says don't you see don't you see in Arabic it says Alam Yara. If we change the translator, you will see it says Alam Yara. Don't they see? So okay. he is saying to them, Don't you see? It's something they can see. Okay, okay. That's the interpretation. Hold on, 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 hold on. Just wait, just wait. Uh, if you are saying to me the earth was the matter, it says here, Don't the unbelievers see? The heaven and the earth were joined together and between two brackets as a unit of one creation, of a creation. Before we cleave yeah. ascender. Okay, let me ask you. So when this earth was a matter and this matter explode, that's mean the word earth doesn't exist no more. No, the earth did not exist at the time of Big Bang. So why is going at the earth? That's why I'm telling that in verse 30. Okay, let me ask you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't tell me. I mean, I'm just doing with you. Honestly, I feel I want to jump from the sixth floor because of your stupidity. With my respect to you, but I have to say this is stupid. Because the Quran say earth, you say a matter. So we say goat, you say a chicken. The Quran use the word earth, you say I matter. I can't say that. No, no, hold on, earth. hold on. Let, let me ask you. Okay. Now, Allah, he created, according to your theory, I will go with you. The stars first or the matters first? Stars. Before the matter? I thought the matter is the no, big no. bang. Oh, matter, yeah, matter. matter. Okay, it. and the matter appear as the word earth. Do you agree? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, the matter is the word All earth. Right. So after. Okay, creation. what if I show you in different verse that Allah is saying that the first thing He created was the stars, before the matter. What you would do now? Are you going to jump from the top of the high mountain? Read carefully with me, chapter seventy-nine, oh. verse number twenty-seven. And what are ye more difficult to create? The heaven above, he has constructed, he lift, he lift it up, he make it high. And this is why it says, Rafa'a samkuha fasawa. He lift it up high. Because this is a fiction that the, the earth was, the, the sky was in the top of the earth. And then God, he lifted up and he put the mountains. It's called the mountain of Qaf. And if we go to chapter Qaf, we will say it. I will show you. Now here it says, so Allah, he created the heaven and then he raised up the sky, raised it up where? In the top of the earth. Now then he says, 
وأغطش ليلها وأخرج ضحاها so now we have a day and night this is number three then he read and then after that not more over in Arabic it says والأرض بعد ذلك دحاها الأرض بعد ذلك دحاها what does that mean and the earth after that he made it flat so if the earth is the matter the matter was a flatten after the heaven was totally created and then in this verse this is not matter this is earth ah okay no one guys no problem it is not matter it's earth it's up to him he decide which earth it was not but here we have a problem because that's mean that Allah he finished the stars first and the other verse is saying the last thing Allah he finished it was the star remember the verses we showed you before it says that Allah he created the trees he made the rivers and he made everything ready and he put the mountains in the top of the matter you call it matter huh so the earth will not shake on you and then after that we see in this chapter that Allah he created the stars first which means in totally in totally opposite direction don't you see that Allah he created the matter I will go with you it's not the earth I see I'm, I'm agreeing with you now just to make you happy in two days and then he put things in the top of the matter in no, two no, days listen listen what Allah what is the mountain Allah he placed in the top of the matter in the four days explain to us you said the matter the matter is the Big Bang it says here it uh, uh, the, the the earth Allah he created in two days and then he placed mountains he made hills he put a trees all of those in four days do you agree that the trees exist before the skies exist no but this is what the verse saying so Allah created the earth you claim this is the matter and then he says in the top of the earth I made mountains and I clean all the substance which is the water the trees the grass etc this is talking about the creation of the earth are you an idiot or what you are the one who says to me this one is speaking about the matter you change your mind now so actually only one verse it is talking about matter that which, which the big one? bang verse which one third. which one uh, surah Ambiya, verse 30. okay i will go with you guys this one is about the earth be my witness because later he will change his mind so chapter 41 here we go i will take a snapshot okay this chapter 41 it says that Allah he created the earth first and the stars at the end. Do you agree with it? But you are saying that in 79 Allah hold on, the hold stars on. Don't, don't go don't go don't change don't change don't change don't change You are the one who said and I remember very well you said the stars are created first. Yes or no? Yeah, according to Big Bang. Yes, no problem, but this chapter in the front of us chapter 41 verse number 9 10 11 12 saying that the order was as the following and you are the one who agreed now this this is not the matter this is the earth remember you are the one who agreed yes so the earth was yes, created yes. in two days and then mountains and grass and trees in four days and then he went yes. to heaven after that and then he made them seven heavens and then after that the last thing he created the stars but you are the one who says where is it that it's where is it that the last things it says in where the front of you read it, it. Is, read it which verse Verse number 12. Okay, then he ordered in the seven heavens in two days. He decked the night heavens. Is this talking about stars? Yes, like lamps, 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 lamps. Yes, lamps. And we made, we decorated the lowest heaven with lamps. Yo, then this is talking about the earth and then the stars yes. after the earth. Yes, thank you. But you said, you said that the truth is the stars was the first so to actually, create it. I did not read this creation account. That's why I read don't only. Don't tell me don't read. Now you, did, now you did read it. Now you did. And you did agree. And everybody heard you. That the correct thing yeah, is, yeah, I is the big bang. That, okay. I agreed that the so stars were created first before. But this is saying the stars were created at the end. But this is saying the stars were created. I'm not saying that. Before? The, the Quran saying that. The Quran saying the stars is the last thing to be created according to chapter 41, verse number 12. So do you agree that this is a big mistake? Actually, you should debate Dr. Zakin Naik. My friend, I, I, my friend, don't don't make me use a bad word. 
what zikr? I'm asking you, what's wrong with you? Are you saying to me that your brain is in the butt of Zach and Naik? You cannot say one word without saying Zach and Naik. Zach and Naik is a dumb idiot. He do not know what he's talking about. And I prove it many times. Can you give me the answer? Did you should, give should, me the answer. No problem. Give me the answer according to Zach and Naik. Okay, then according to, then uh, we have to reject the Big Bang Theory. Otherwise, Quran you have to reject the Big Bang Theory. It was the Big Bang Theory, correct. Now the Big Bang Theory, after speaking to Christian Prince for 15 minutes, it's a big mistake. Now, but it's not a problem now. We have a bigger problem. We have a big problem. Because now, as long oh, you agree that the Big Bang, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. As long you agree that the Big Bang is not there, forget about it. That's mean the earth is not the there's not that matter no more. The earth is an earth, and that's mean we go back now. We will find the other chapter saying the opposite. Because in the other chapter, this is chapter 41. In chapter 79, it says the opposite that Allah yes, created first. Hold on. Things. The chapter chapter 79, it says Allah created which one first? Okay, listen, listen, I have to write down the verses 41, 12. Okay, now you can go to the next one. Okay, chapter 79. You agreed, you agreed that the, the, the big man is a big joke now. Okay, that's good. Now 79, chapter 79, Allah saying that Allah created the heaven first. And then he built this heaven, seven heavens. He gave it order, night and day. And then he gave it the lights, which mean the lamps, etc. And then after that, he started working in the earth. And then after that, he created the trees and the water. And after that, he put the mountains. But this is totally different order from the other chapter in chapter 41. In chapter 41, it was the earth first, and then the trees, and then the, and the mountains, and the substance, and then the, the sky was a, was 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 a smoke, and then after that, Allah He created the lamps. Here it says totally the opposite. The first Allah He created the sky. He made the sky seven skies. He built it all, and He made He gave it the light, which means the lamps. He gave it its order, and then after that, read carefully. And after that, He spread the earth. He made it flat, and after that, He gave it water. And after that, he made the mountains. This is totally the opposite contradiction. He spread the earth. My friend, That's doesn't matter. First the first one saying, Say Allah that. finished the earth. No, it says that he, he made it flat. This is not, anyway, he, he spread, he made it flat. That will not change. But in Arabic, it says, well, <laughs> The haha means Zaki Naik said that this is ostrich egg shape. My friend, Zaki like Naik is a donkey. Do you want me to show you what the haha means from the dictionary? The ha, ha means I do not believe the ha, ha means spread. No, the ha, ha does not mean an orchard og. This guy is a donkey. He copied that from a YouTube. A kid is is age. He's nineteen years old. He made that video, and then every donkey in the world start copying, including Zach and Nike. And let me get you get your Zach and Nike busted in two seconds. I will open an Islamic dictionary, and you will see that the word the ha, ha mean flat. He made it flat. Okay, let me show you. Here we go. I will put it for you in the screen. Give me a second. I will open the dictionary, Islamic dictionary, not Christian dictionary. Yeah. And I will I will pause the word the ha, ha Here we go. And here we go. What the ha, ha mean? Here we go. This is the dictionary. This is Al Ma'ani dictionary, which is an Islamic dictionary. Can you read what the dictionary is saying? The word of the Quran. It's a word from the Quran. Ma'anaha. He stretch it or he spread it. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. And this is why all Islamic interpretation and translation, none of them says he make it like a like a ball, as like an egg saying to you, or like an egg. Did you ask yourself? None of them tr the translator. He did not say the word egg. Why? Why? Because like an egg is a donkey. He copied a video from YouTube and he adopted and he started repeating the same thing. But the word the ha, ha we can go to Ibn Kathir right now. Do you want me to show you Ibn Kathir? Do you want me to show you Jalalain? No, no, I trust you. Okay. No, no, no don't trust, trust me. Don't trust anyone, my friend. Don't trust anyone. Never trust anyone. Trust only the truth. Search for the truth. Don't be stupid. So you can search for it and you will find that this is absolutely a big fat lie. So Allah, he made this the earth flat. And Allah, he finished the heaven first. And after he finished all everything in the heaven, as we see in chapter 79, then he worked in the earth and he made it flat, as you see. After that, 
do you know what do you see the word after even this Islamic translation saying after that and here you see he said spread the earth do you see this is your translation do you see it yeah okay why the Muslim did not say he made it egg as Zakir Naik said because Zakir Naik thinks he's a scientist no like because Zakir Naik is, 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 a, is a diarrhea guy he's a liar he is not a scholar he's a potato he's making fun of you he, he want to take your money so Zachariah, sorry, Zachary Naik, he said this is an egg, and I can show you the video. Actually, the one who made this video is to refute me. He's a 19 years old, old kid. He called me once. It's a kid who made that video. And then after that, all Muslims, they start copying and pasting the video because they are ignorant. No, not even a single one Arab in the world, he will agree that the word the ha ha mean egg, as you see. So the problem here now, that according to this chapter, chapter 79, Allah, he finished the sky, he complete the sky. So now we have day, we have night, we have stars, we have dark, as you see. And then yeah. after that, he start working in the earth. And then after that, he put the mountains and he put the water. And so here, the and, he, and then he made the, 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 the animals. But this is totally the opposite of the order appear in chapter 41. So which one of them is the accurate one? Obviously, Allah cannot be God because he cannot remember even which one he created first. Read carefully. Chapter 41, it says, Allah, he created the earth in two days. And then he put all the, the mountains in the top of it and the sustenance, which means water, trees, etc. And then after that, Thumma, and then he turned to the heaven. And by the way, the word Thumma in Arabic, there's a guy, he is a Muslim teacher, he, he, he teach. You can search about the meaning of Thumma. Thumma in Arabic means after but long period goes, after long period. Thumma, and then after that, after a long period, he turned to the heaven and he, he it was a smoke, which means was was nothing. But this is totally oh, what it means. Your point is that in one surah, it is talking about first earth was created and the stars, but it another surah, Stars were created first, then then the earth. Let me make it more simple for you. One chapter saying Allah created all the earth and the substance, the trees, the water, etc. first, and then the stars at the end, and that was a chapter, as you see, chapter forty-one, and then the other chapter saying the opposite, a chapter seventy-nine. Allah created first the the uh, uh, the sky. He finished all and everything in the sky, including the lamps, the seven skies, because Quran yeah. claimed there are seven skies. And after he finished everything in the sky, and he made the dark and the night, which means the sun, the day, the night, etc., for the earth, you know, and this is how it's supposed to be the creation of Allah. And then after that, he spread the earth. A Muslim might say to you, well, the earth was created before the heaven. This is what they would say, by the way. I, I can tell you from now what they would say. But this will be stupid too. Because what do you mean? How you can create the earth if there's no space for it? And the space is the heaven. Secondly, and after that, he spread the earth. Let us say the earth was exist, but Allah now, he start walking in the earth. But look what happened. According to this, the stars are finished before he start walking in anything in the earth. And the other verse saying that Allah finished all is in the earth, trees, mountains, etc., and then the sky was still a smoke. In the stars. But this is the opposite. My friend, this can't be from God. You are smarter than this. Are you a fool who follows like a nag just because like a, you're like a chicken and follow your mommy? Doesn't matter what who's your mommy, even if it's a cat. The chicken, when he's go 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 out from the from the uh, egg, anything walk around, he thinks this is his mo his mother. Anything, even if it's a cat, will eat him. Are you going to do that? It's, isn't it obvious after all the explanation for you? There's no way God will not remember which one he created first, the trees first or the stars. As simple as that. No, actually, I did not think about this stuff. Okay, think now. You are an adult. You are not a kid. Isn't it clear for you? So why you want to stay as a Muslim? There's no way even the Quran says if this book is not from God, you will find a lot of contradiction. Yes. Okay. So Allah he says that. All right. So Allah He gave us the, the, the correct way to find if this is a book from God. How this can be a book from God? God who don't remember which one he created first.
yeah i have to think about that you have some good points because this is i cannot change in one night like why not we can change in I one night to, if if you discover that this is false and this is a this is a false prophet you change it one because night, I don't not? want to burn in hell. I mean, well, you are you burning in hell anyway. You are following a false prophet. We just to prove it to you. What's wrong with you? You are following a prophet. He, he claimed that he have a god, yet he don't remember which one he created first, and it's in the front of your eyes. And even if you take it and you study it for the coming ten years, they try to give you explanation, try to defend, but it will not work. It's it's obvious. You should leave Islam right now because you might go to sleep right now and you never wake up and you are following a false prophet. You are scaring me. I'm not scaring you. This is the, the, the fact is it's scary, my friend. You are following a false prophet. And you okay, what if I leave Islam? I mean, I, I have to become an atheist. I mean, no, this is no for me, I will invite you to be a Christian, but say, agree, I leave Islam and I will be happy to explain to you the Bible. I have a Bible, but I do not read. This is not the problem. So, now let us uh, let us first you, agree to leave what is called. I don't want you to be Christian unless you are convinced too, because maybe Christians are not a true or believe. You never know. So we want to we want to check it out one by one. So first, as long we reach an agreement, me and you, that obviously this is a true contradiction, cannot be from God. So Muhammad cannot be a prophet of God. So why you don't want to say I am I am out of Islam? Okay, I say, but what's Next. Okay, thank God. Glory to the Lord. Here we go. Our friend here, Mr. Khan, he decided to leave Islam after all of this, you know, trying. He thought Islam is a wonderful, Islam is a great religion. It turned to be Islam is a false cult. Thank you, Mr. Khan. I'm I am happy for you. Now I invite you to believe in the Messiah as Lord as Savior. Do you want to know why? Why? Okay. Do you agree with me that the Messiah did nothing wrong? He's holy. Yes, I do you agree that the Messiah he can resurrect people from death? Yeah. Do you agree that the Messiah he can create from the mother bird? Yeah. Which means he's a creator. Okay. What is left a Messiah cannot do? If he can even tell you what you hide in your houses. And he is holy. Actually, I have very very bad confusion that how can God die if you say well, who said, like my, my friend, who said to you that God die? You see the flesh of every. Somebody. Okay, let me let, let me let me explain to you. Let's make you also. When we say that Jesus die, we are talking about the flesh. Yes. Jesus said, "You destroy this temple, and I will build it for you in three days." He was talking about his body. The Jews they thought he's talking about the temple. All right. So you destroy this temple, and I will build it in three days. And the three days is symbolic for the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. So Jesus said. Nobody can take myself. I lay down myself by myself. Nobody can take nobody can force me So when we say that Jesus died, this is the flesh Otherwise, Jesus is exists before his birth and actually we were talking about it, right? We said Jesus is the Word of God So before he come in, in John chapter 1 it says in the beginning It was the word it, and the word was with God and the word was the God So he is the God who was the word before he became a flesh of a man so the flesh of the man have nothing to do with the existence of Jesus. Jesus said to the Jews, before Abraham, I am. Was born, I am. Yeah, okay. I know that so verse. They said to before him, born, they said to him, well, how he, how, are you, like, is this guy is crazy? How, how you are not even 50 years old and you say before Abraham. So the existence of the Messiah have nothing to do with his birth. So after birth, they killed what? They killed the flesh of the birth. But the Messiah Their is body, the, yes, correct. Jesus so, body. but the Messiah is existence, and you agree, right? He was exist before Abraham. Yeah, that's mean his existence have nothing to do. Still, his exist. They just killed the flesh. So they killed the flesh, and the Messiah he resurrected the flesh. So Jesus, the Messiah, he is dead by the flesh, but he is living as a living God. This is why he says, "You destroy this temple, and I will build it for you in three days." Yeah, and John too. I also read that. All destroy right. This temple. So, what do you want more? We have a holy name, powerful, glor you know, everything glorify him. Nobody can speak against him. He taught amazing love, amazing wisdom. Go and read. Uh, it looked like you you did read enough of the Bible. You have all the speech of Jesus. We cannot compare it with the Quran. Quran is just a yeah, yeah. book. So why you want to accept the Jesus? whole Gospel of John? 
I read that. All right. Just for information. So, my friend, so why you will not accept Jesus? Do you believe in Isaiah 50? I know Isaiah 50 is talking about the coming Messiah. My friend, believe I, believe in every, for... I believe in every word in the Bible. This is not, that, not, this is not the a question. I'm Jews... asking you. I'm asking you. Do you believe? What do you think about the Messiah? Yeah, I have to. I believed in the Messiah. And okay, do you now, believe that yeah, he is your savior? To. You are the one who said to me that Isa means the savior or the salvation. Yeah, Jesus means Yeshua means okay, so the savior. Why you will not accept now that the Messiah is your salvation so you can be saved? What to do? I have to go to church. I mean, I don't understand. My friend, just the, agree with me that he is a salvation, and I will help you. We can talk in private later, uh, uh, and we can go on details what you can do. Uh, you know, accept the Messiah as your savior and your salvation, and the only way to be saved, and you will be saved, my friend. Okay, I accept. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory Save. to the Lord. Our brother Khan. He is not a Abdul no more. He is a Christian now and he accepted the Messiah as Lord, as Savior. And my friend Khan, I welcome you in the name can of the Lord. Can Jesus save Muhammad? Because no. I, I, no, he cannot. No, I he will not save because Muhammad. the Bible says, my friend, like the Bible him. says, the Bible says, and you know the Bible. Does it say in the Bible that the one who is the one, the Antichrist, is the one who denied the Father and the Son, correct? So Muhammad denied the Father and the Son. And not only that, he caused millions and millions to be deceived. So Muhammad, there is no way for forgiveness. And not only that, the Bible says that the one who do insult the Holy Spirit, he will not be forgiven. And Muhammad, because of him, there is many people insulting today because of their ignorance, because of his teaching, the Holy Spirit. He claimed that the Holy Spirit is Jibreel. So Muhammad will not be forgiven. And it's too late to be forgiven anyway because you are dead. You see, it, it's possible that anyone is can be forgiven. he burning in hell? He is burning in hell and he will be in hell and he will be suffer as nobody ever for he deceived hundreds of millions. Hundreds of millions of people, they are deceived by this evil man. So my friend, I'm so happy for you that you accepted the Messiah as your as your Lord, as your Savior. And uh, uh, I want you to invite more Muslims to call me and sit and watch and see what, what they will come with. And you will, you will see Islam is nothing but a fraud. Don't and this is my advice to you. Don't go by what Christian Prince says to you. Investigate everything you heard. Anything I said to you today is recorded. Download the video later, check it one by one. I am happy that you became a Christian. I'm happy that you left Islam, but still you have to be smart. The, the, yeah, I hear you almost every day, every episode. Wonderful. I hear you. That's why I decided to call you because wonderful, my friend. I'm so happy that you called. Actually, I'm so happy that I called lose. you again because something inside me I was going to leave actually. I hang up on you because I can't take it no more. But something inside me said, do it. I don't know what it is, but something forced me to call me back, call you back, even though I'm losing my patience, losing my voice. But thank you, thank the, you know, thanks to the Lord that he made me call you and we have you saved. But I want you to stay with us, bring more Muslims, encourage them to call me, encourage the scholars, not only the Muslims, normal Muslims, encourage Challenge Dakar Naik, this guy who don't dare to get close to me. Anyone who have knowledge to call me. Life on air. And don't tell me what the topic. Just call me. Say, Christian Prince, here we go. I'm a Muslim. I'm a Muhammadan. I'm going to beat you up. I'm going to show everybody that you know nothing. I'm, I welcome anyone to do it. And they will never win. For a very simple reason. If the Lord is with me, who could be against me? The Lord, he says, search the books, read the books, and find the truth, and the truth will set you free. And he said, I am the truth. I am the Alpha. I am the Omega. I am. I am who I am. I am the life. I am the resurrection. Yeah, I, have the, the I am the way. I am the door, thing. and nobody can I go to the, the Father. Shepherd. Exactly. So, my friend, I'm the good shepherd. I, my sheep hear exactly. my voice. Yeah, he is so good. He is so good. good. Am amazing. He is so good. I agree with you. He is so good. So beautiful. So, my friend, Khan, uh, I am happy for you. Uh, keep watching us. Join us. And I think you can you can do good, uh, maybe later because you you learn a lot about Islam from what we said, and you have a, some background about the Bible that will make it uh, that make it easier for you to accept the Messiah, but that will give you advantage to bring more Muslims to Christ. So get the blessing of the Lord, my friend. Don't just be somebody who Pray became a Christian. Me. Bring more of the lost sheep to the to the Lord so they can be saved, because 
a happiness in the kingdom of the Lord as the Bible says will be right now because one soul is saved and that is you look at those Christians how happy for you all of us we are happy I'm happy I lost yes. my voice but not 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 for nothing I did not waste my time it was a great time to have you my brother Khan yeah pray for me I will I will my friend and now I have to hang up on you I apologize because really okay. I'm losing my voice and uh, I'm really happy to have you and I mean you see, actually you have too much patience you actually you suffer a lot of insults but you have a lot of patience my, and you have a lot of information and you could know Arabic it is your plus point so at the end of the this day, my friend, class. thank you. At the end of the so day, my friend, it's it's about, you know, we are servants and we take in salt for his glory. The Lord, he says, time will come and people will think by killing you, they are doing favor to God. So not only they will insult me, they will think about killing me if they can. But I understand I will be happy to die for his sake. And I'm not really, this is the last of my worry, insult or death. For we believe that whoever die and believe in the Messiah, he is alive. No death can take us and nobody can kill us because we will have the eternal life by his name. They can kill the flesh, but who said that we are not going to die anyway? All of us, we are walking dead. The, the Bible says, the Lord said, let the dead bury the dead. All of them, they are dead. Even the one who walk be, be behind the coffin are dead. So dead, death will never make us fear. And I will never make me fear because I would die anyway. You scare me from what? <laughs> Nothing. I'm dead. I'm dead. But I will prefer to die believing in the truth, being honest. And yeah, free. I also have memorized fear him who can kill the body and soul in hell. Matthew 10 28. Thank you. You have a good have memory, actually. You have a very good memory. That's very good for you. So you can help later to bring more Muslims into Christ, my friend. That's very yeah. good. All right, for me, I will pray for you. I will ask all the Christians in front of you, all the Christians, pray for our brother Khan. I don't know which country you are from. You don't need to tell. But pray for our brother Khan uh, uh, for, for more guidance and maybe the Lord, he will make him a disciple of his own. So he will bring more Muslims to Christ. Maybe the Lord, he chose yeah, him today. I will force my friends to call you. They will be, become very angry, I know, but I will try my well, friend, let the devil be angry. The second you are making the devil angry, that's mean you are doing good. If the devil is not angry from you, that's mean you are in the wrong place. So it's a very good sign if you make the devil angry. It's not a bad sign. Actually, me myself, if there's if the devil is not angry from me, it's mean I'm wrong. I will not be happy. What's wrong with the devil? How come he is happy with me? So let the devil be unhappy, and this is what we are doing here. So Khan, I have to hang up on you, and I will have to say thank you. May the thank Lord you. bless you. And again, guys, I ask every one of you to pray to our brother here, Khan, who called us to defend Islam, and he end accepting the Messiah as Savior. The Lord is amazing. It is not me who made you Christian. It's no one. It's the Messiah who opened your eyes. As simple as that. Very happy for you. And by the way, join join the club of the upper state. Millions of people live in this cult. And millions will go and will leave Islam soon too. Because the internet is a blessing to us so we can reach out to people. And all the propaganda, those who they are making it, paying you know, a lot of money. TV stations trying to promote the cult of Islam will not work. The truth will set you free. And the truth is just in the front of our eyes. I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. Don't forget to download the video when the download is ready. And until we see you again soon, I say, God bless. Forgive me, I have to go. My voice is almost gone. And if you like to learn more, you can read my books. You can find them in Amazon in many languages. And until we see you again, Christ is Lord. Islam is false. God bless. Take care.